Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. We are uh, back into the grind. I did a little bit of grinding last night. Got a couple diamonds, but not really anything too crazy. But let's get back into the grind, man. Let's get back into the grind. We're in a pretty good state now. Most of our zones are pretty consistent. I've got a few that kind of like uh, bounce back and forth. Uh, yeah, Zero Savage, I did. I did lower the bitrate. I was streaming at like a 10,000 bit rate, and now I stream at 8,000, or I guess actually 8,500 is what it should be at. But yes, it's much more smooth now. Not having as many uh, weird lag spikes, so that's good. Thankfully, it actually did help. Uh, Baby Pumpkin, thank you so much for the super chat. Able to tune in for a bit, good luck. Great one, let's go. Let's see, baby pumpkin. I think we'll get it. I hope we do. I hope today will be the day. Thank you for the super chat once again. Will today be the day that we get the special fur type? Great one. We shall see. GB Raiders, thank you for the super chat again. Really appreciate it, dude. Really appreciate it. Ain't nothing there. How do you get her management? I mean, it's just a matter of not shooting level twos and below for moose. That's that's basically the gist of it. It's just don't shoot the uh, level twos or level one moose you find. Eventually, you'll notice that there's less and less to shoot and more and more of them are becoming twos and below. And then eventually at a certain point, that will mean that the ones that are above level two will just naturally be larger than normal. Okay, no respawn here yet. I noticed that some of my respawns are either going to different places or just not showing up. I've got a few that just randomly disappeared. Console patch came out today. Nice drawn. That is awesome. Glad to hear. Glad to hear they got it out to everybody. Yeah, I know, T, and I played it last night. Not going to be able to stream it yet because I already uh, I already had plans for today's evening stream with Kill Clinton. So there won't be an angler stream today, but there will be at some point. At some point, we'll get one.
Yeah, like this area of the respawns have just not come back to the same area. I shot one of the ones over here to get a, a shootable over there and I don't know where it went. It was part of the herd and then it just stopped being part of the herd. Hey, Redux, how's it going, dude? How you doing? Got some pigs over there. Let's go check over there. Reed, thank you for the five months, dude. Welcome back. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing real good. Nice, Endo. Yeah, those are some good DLCs for sure. Very good. Um, there's a bug, Ultimate Hunter, so if you go into multiplayer, sometimes it will just, uh, remove some of the zones. It's kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's a thing. Uh, the other thing that could have happened is that you shot solo moose zones. If you're shooting solo moose zones, they will not come back to the same spot nine times out of ten. Yeah, it is unfortunate, Redux. I bet you're happy to be on PC, though. I've always found PC to be a lot, uh... Just have, there's a lot more freedom involved with having a PC, right? You're able to do so many more things. And not having to pay to play online. That's got to be one of the best things as well. Maybe the moose turned into pigs? It's looking like it, man. Why else would we have some pigs there? I like that theory. I think that's, that's got to be the one. Hey, Kathy, how's it going? When did I shoot the second great one? Uh, two days after the first. I don't remember the exact date. Guys, this moose grind is just draining my money. Like, my gosh. I've been doing so many time resets, I'm literally, like, down 700k from this grind. And I've been claiming all my moose as well. I've just had to reset the time so much to try and get them in their zones to grind efficiently that I'm losing more money than I'm making. Nice, Bosvark. That's awesome. Yeah, definitely Redux. It is nice. Steam has a ton of sales. And a lot more games as well. Lots of variety there. Um, I like coffee, Joshua. I don't really drink it as much as I used to, though. At least not a uh, full-on coffee. I pretty much have to drink decaf at this point, because if I drink regular coffee, then um, it kicks up my anxiety pretty badly. So I try not to drink too much coffee, and if I do, it's the, the decaf type. TDK, thank you for the super chat, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. How am I doing today? I'm doing good, man. Doing good. Just, uh, you know, ready to get back into that moose grind. Try to get ourselves a special fur type great one. Oh. <laughs> yes, it's the oh my god. There's one. Oh, I forgot I saved this. Okay, so this is a pie ball that spawned last night. I forgot that uh, that even happened because it was like 2 a.m. when it did. But there we go. There's the pie ball that I spawned last night. And this guy's new. We got ourselves a little pie bald there. He's not super big, but he is uh, still a pie bald. Still a pie bald regardless. 
Yeah, Kathy, I was just, uh, I don't know. It was another one of those days where I was just feeling like taking a break from the grind. Let's get this guy down, though. Oh, he moved. That's nothing new, though. They move after every shot now. Successful shots on Moose are non-existent nowadays, I swear. It's like they don't even exist. Africa 2.0 map next? That'd be amazing, man. That'd be amazing. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you, Pioneer. Don't know what to tell you, man. Uh, Baby Pumpkin, thank you for the super chat. Somebody donated 20. Uh, yeah, I saw that. I responded to it. Uh, GB Raiders, thank you so much for the super chat as well. Kill two diamonds, three rares. Not bad, man. Not bad. That is awesome. Thank you all for the super chats. There we go. Oh, it's gold. Wow, it made gold. That I did not expect. Did not expect that thing to make gold. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Benny boy. What's the rarest moose fur type? Um, I'd say Mella, maybe. It's Mella or Albino. Where'd this one go? Oh gosh. He's so far away. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with him. He is so far away. Uh, that spot doesn't have any shootables anymore from what I remember. Mrs. Crow is in the building. Hey, Flat Pop, how's it going, man? Hey, Cannon. What map do I recommend for new players? I would say either Tiabaroa or New England Mountains. They both seem pretty good for beginner players. Where's the respawn from here? Oh my, what the? Oh, they're out much further than normal. That, that surprised me. Normally they're in the bushes. Uh, it should be tip of the front side cornies. Hey, Noel, how's it going? Uh, yeah, SRP is a pretty awesome map. Uh, I'd say that some of the better places to hunt is really just anywhere that there's a lake. To be honest, Silver Ridge Peaks is just really good all around. You can have success hunting pretty much anywhere on Silver Ridge. I mean, you don't even have to hunt the lakes, to be honest. Silver Ridge is just a gold mine. It's just great. Yes, Bruno, it definitely could. Which is why it's important to check all your zones every once in a while. Even the ones you don't normally hunt. Because yes, that can happen. Especially with the moose grind. The moose grind does it more than any other grind I've been on.
Is it possibly your zeroing distance, uh, hornies? Uh, Sullivan Ross, thank you so much for the membership. Really appreciate it. Welcome. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, the access to extra Discord channels, and extra content on the channel. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Hey, Sonaldo, I'm doing good. I saw you got a great one. Or was it two great ones? It was something like that. Uh, lots of grinding, um, uh, I, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say your name, so I'm just gonna say official. It's primarily just a lot of grinding. I've killed 20,000 red deer, 23,000 whitetail, and we're up to 1,300 moose right now. It just comes down to a lot of grinding. This zone has been pretty consistent with, uh, large fours and fives. Oh, there he is. Uh, yeah, Bowman, it did. They released the update on all platforms now. Which is amazing. Oh, actually, we don't want to do that yet. I got to make sure this herd doesn't have something I can shoot in it. Also, we need to start searching some of the extra areas because I need to try and figure out where some of these stragglers have gone like there's just there's not as many respawns in my favorite zones as I'm used to got a feeling some of them uh, moved off into different areas yeah it really feels like it hey CJO how's it going Do you have a New Zealand Red Deer Drink Zone Guide? Uh, yeah, James. It should be called, uh, well, it should be in my Herd Management Guide. If one of the moderators could bring up the, uh, Herd Management Guides. You can start your grind at any time, Tobias. I started the second I found a grind, or not grind, a zone. You don't have to find a specific number of zones to start your grind. I've been grinding moose since I found my very first zone. Uh, yeah, Blake, sure it did. It did. Yes, dear hunter, I am. I think that would be pretty obvious by the title of the stream. Uh, yeah, Sullivan, I am. It's a lot more difficult with Musa. It's been pretty tough. Yep, that does not seem to have any shootables still. Let's check all these little lakes. It's been a while since we've been here. It's been wild, Redux. It's been wild, man. This has been one of the most, like, hyped up releases of Call of the Wild in a while. Uh, yeah, Benny, I do. I shoot the threes and fours and fives. Uh, most likely they've gone to different uh, zones, uh, Kago. Most of the time, if they don't come back, they've gone somewhere else on the map. Think I'm going to get a great one tonight? Maybe. We'll see. What? There's one of my respawns. 
I knew that some of them had to have been in different areas. He's just been chilling here. You silly moose. Yeah, to be honest, most of my level 5s have trolled, uh, Null. I've had over 60% of my level 5s troll me. It's been rough. If every single level 5 had made it, I'd probably be over 30 diamonds right now, but most of them have trolled. What fur type do I want for the Great One Moose? I'm hoping for either an oak, ashen, or birch. That's my three favorites. I wouldn't mind a two-tone though. Not gonna lie, two-tone is kind of growing on me. The more I see it, the more it's growing on me. Two-tone might actually be pretty sick to get. What is the rare brown bear fur type? For brown bear, it's just albino and mella. How's uh, how's your grind been going, CJO? Hope it's been going good for you. Anything but a speckled with quad. Yep, pretty much. Not a fan of the quad rack. Not a fan of that one. And speckled is my least favorite uh, fur type as well, so. Yeah, that, that, that probably would be my least wanted combination also. Uh, yeah, Gavin, I do. I do play other games. Quite a few, actually. I didn't miss anything, Ethan. Albino Roosevelt or an Albino Rocky Elk? Uh, to be honest, a Roosevelt Colton, I've already got a couple Rocky Albinos, but I don't have... I don't have a good albino Roosevelt, just a small one. Um, not always Ultimate Hunter. Tough to be honest, 762 kills, 11 diamonds, 5 trolls, no rare, and the moves move around like crazy. I feel you, man. It's rough. I mean, I've been grinding it pretty uh, hardcore, and I'm only at 1,300 kills. And they've been moving around like crazy for me as well. I've got to a point where like half of my zones are consistent now, and then the rest are just, they go wherever they want. Like, even after getting herd management to a good point, they still just kind of respawn wherever they want, even if they were tied to a herd. Thank you, Tron. Zones sometimes disappear and come back in the same spot. Yeah, that, that can happen. That can happen. We're trying, Kathy. I think we can do it. I think we can hit 85k before Christmas easily. We've been getting between like two and 500 subscribers every day. Between 200 and 500. So I'd say 85k by Christmas is very doable. Oh no, Tron, that's the worst. Uh, no, Landon, you didn't miss anything. Well, I take that back. We did kill a little piebald. We killed a level 3 piebald that I had got to spawn last night when I was grinding. Just a small male piebald, though. Eighty-five k by next Friday? Maybe, Ben. Maybe. I think it's possible. I feel like in my spare time, I'm not grinding. I'm looking and trying to find where they have gone. If this was Whitetail, our numbers would be insane. Oh, definitely. Definitely. 
And honestly, I think that's why I'm not really too worried about Moose seemingly being uh, affected more by herd management. Like, it seems like Great Ones spawn quicker with the Moose. But to be honest, I'm not too mad about that because it takes a lot longer just to even find Moose or get your numbers of Moose up. Moose kills come much slower than, uh, than other species do. So even if it takes us less kills to get Great Ones with the Moose, it's still going to take the same amount of time because it's just harder to hunt moose than it is other species. Because they move around so much, they're so spread out, and a lot of zones just have like one male. Like, moose are tough. Yeah, I'd say so, Kathy. I'd say so. In fact, I've had a few people say that moose was like the uh, only great one that they've been able to grind for. And that they were able to get it. So if that is the case, I'm not too mad about it. Yeah, it's rough, CJO. It's rough, man. Even, even to the point where I am now, I've got probably, I don't know, like 60% of my map to be uh, level 2s and very small 3s. And... I even like my consistent zones or I guess quote unquote consistent are not very consistent like I find myself doing like five runs through my main zones and then I do one or two then I do one or two um runs through all of the outskirts zones like we're doing right now right now we're kind of just checking all those outskirts zones seeing if there's anything that have moved no Landon we have two great ones we do we do have two great ones already. I got the first one about, what was it, 700 kills in? And then the next one showed up 130 kills later. And then it's been about 400 since those spawned. What is my favorite color for the gray? Wait. Oh, the great one moose um I would say my favorite is the birch it definitely is CJO it definitely is but I have noticed a lot of people are getting their great one in less kills so I think it'll end up balancing out in the long run oh it was 820 in for the first 135 for the second got you thank you Ben Actually, I could have just looked. I've got it wrote down. Yeah, 820 and then 130. You're right. <laughs> and then we're currently on 350 since the last one. Yeah, Landon, it's been wild. It has been wild. The Great One Moose is uh, it's a whole different beast. And to be honest, I think because it has so many fur types... A including the ability to get albino, melanistic, and piebald. I think even if Great One Moose do become easier to get, I think people will still really grind for them. Because there is so many variations of rack and fur combos, including the three ultra rares to grind for. So I think it's actually going to be about the same as any other Great One, even though they seem to pop a little bit quicker. Uh, Vexital, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing great. Thank you so much. Did they fix the Great One Moose fur types? Uh, yes, Davis, they did. Omar, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Do you play with Fog On? When I have it on, I get crazy jaggies around foliage and light shafts. Um, no, I don't play with it on. I have the fog turned off. The fog is turned off. Thank you so much for the super chat, though. Got two troll elk? Oof, unfortunate, James. I've been lucky enough not to get trolled by the Roosevelt's, but the Rocky Elk have trolled me many, many times. I don't know, uh, little shoemaker. 
It used to be. I don't know if it is now. It's been a while since I've seen anybody get an initial spawn, uh, great one. So I'm, uh, I'm not sure. Not sure if it's still possible. We had a couple people, uh, saying that they got initial spawn great ones with the moose, but I don't, I don't necessarily believe them. Because, uh, moose move almost every run, so literally... It, it could just take shooting a few moose in solo zones and then they move to new solo zones and it tells you you found a new zone, but it probably wasn't. Yeah, that was a long time ago, Zero. That was back when they were happening a lot. There was a couple, I'd say about a year. There's about a year in Call of the Wild where initial spawn great ones were actually pretty common. But uh, the last few months, I've not really uh, heard of any that were proven to really be initial spawns, so I'm I'm inclined to believe that they don't exist anymore. Did you shoot any moose before you found it, though, Sam? Because if you shot male moose before finding it, there's no way to verify that it really was initial. Because like I said, if you shoot the solo moose out of their zone, they can go anywhere. They can respawn anywhere. They can create brand new zones. And nothing at that lake. That one's been kind of an empty lake. For the longest time, though. Yeah, that's the alert, uh, Landon. And then the clapping is from the, uh, stream deck. I got a bunch of different things I can do now. Your zones have stayed consistent? Man, I wish mine have. I wish mine stayed consistent. They certainly don't stay consistent for me. Thank you, Mason. Really appreciate that, dude. Really appreciate that. Hope you've been doing good, man. Oh no, Kathy. Xbox is making you updated again. Well, there was an update today, so that would probably be why. Um, that was from that was from the last Whitetail Great One Landon. Uh, no, Colt, I, I haven't. And to be honest, I don't really look up, like, uh, meme songs. Maybe, Landon, we'll see. I'd like to get another great one today. It's been a few days since we got the last one. Uh, no, Lando, they can't. I mean, that's everywhere, Lies. That's not just console. Everybody's got screwed up antlers. I think the only ones I've seen that aren't screwed up are the, uh, moose. Whitetail antlers are insanely blurry when you try to look at them. And I'm on PC, so it's not a console exclusive thing. Least favorite map? I'd say it's between Hirschfelden and Parquet Fernando.
but I haven't played them since the update, so we'll we'll see how that stands. Herd management, uh, Landon. Check out the uh, guides that were just linked above you. Uh, no, let's get real place. You can kill multiple of the species. I mean, I've got two great one moose already. So you can definitely still kill multiple of a species. I know quite a few people throughout the community that have already got two uh, great one moose. So you can still get multiple great ones of the same species. If they made it so you could only get one, that would be, uh, that would probably be pretty poor business model considering there's so many variations. Uh, two, uh, HR. I believe it's two. Grinded red deer on Quattro for 5.5k kills. Have no great one. Would you recommend switching to T Abaroa? Just so much easier on T, just wondering. Um, I'd say you probably could. It wouldn't hurt to switch. I mean... Diawaroa definitely does have better positioning for all the red deer herds, so would probably end up being an easier grind. But it's really up to you. If you've already got a grind going, you might not want to, you know, go through the whole setup process again. So it's really up to you. I I, I can't say that, Landon. I can't just say. Landon and original Landon every single time that that's not how this works. <laughs> I just read the name that's attached to the message and if you got a similar name you just gotta just gotta be aware of whether or not I'm replying to your message or not. Is that the real crow? I hope I am. Nice Warzone. To spawn my second level 5, its estimate is 281 to 335. Nice, dude, that's a guaranteed. That's always nice to see. It's always nice to see the guaranteed diamonds. Because with Musa, it seems very, um, seems very hit or miss. Over 50% of mine have been trolls, so. It is very, very nice to see a guaranteed. Hoping we could see a few of those today. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Oh, what the? Random new shootable here. See, this is the thing about these freaking moose, man. I haven't had a shootable moose here in... I believe like 400 kills it's been a long time since we've had one here that we could shoot they move so much they move so much man what's my biggest so far well my biggest so far will be released in a YouTube short soon not gonna spoil what it was because I got it last night but, uh, I did get my new best for the grind. Y'all will have to watch the YouTube short that I'm probably posting tomorrow or tonight to see what it was. But it was a big one. It was a big mail. Uh, yeah, Extreme Sports, that's really big. Hey, TTV, I'm doing good. How about you? Hope you're doing well today. Yep, we got a new best diamond moose.
That is crazy, GB. That's crazy. Okay, I think that one of these is a new three, but I'm pretty sure... Yeah, both of them are still small enough to where they're practically a two. So I think that's actually fine. Um, I'm not sure, Casey. I haven't decided yet. I'm tempted to just stack it for one reason. I feel like they might be bugged. Because a lot of people, once they shoot their uh, Great One Moose, have it showing up as a common in their lodge. And so I'm just thinking to myself, like, every single Great One Moose that I've seen since the update has had a special fur type and then turned common in the lodge. And the update said that they increased the spawn rate of special fur types on the Great Ones, right? It didn't say that all of them would be a special fur type. So I'm wondering if maybe there's a bug where some that are supposed to be a common are showing up as a special fur type when they're supposed to be a common. Like maybe they were supposed to be commons all along in the lodge and they're showing up in game different than what they really are. Like, I don't know. Because they just said they increased the chances of getting a uh, special fur type. They didn't say that all of them would be a special fur type. And I, I think every single one has been so far. Makes me wonder if uh, they're showing up more than intended. And then when they get put in the lodge, it corrects it to the actual fur type. It's so hard to say though. Uh, yes, yeah, Stephanie, I do. Um, no, Kathy, that, that was introduced with the hotfix. At least, we think it's a bug. I'm almost positive it's gotta be a bug like that. But yeah, that happened with this update. Or with this hotfix, I should say. And it makes me kind of afraid to shoot whatever great one we do get. Like, I don't want to shoot a great one and have it not actually be the fur type that we end up shooting it as. I'd prefer that I just wait for the next update before shooting it, right? And then, if it changes to a common fur type after they fix it, then... At least I get to shoot it in the same form as when I put it in the lodge. Like, it would just be such a bummer to shoot a great one moose. And then have it change to a common in the lodge. I think I'd just rather wait to shoot any until they uh, confirm what's going on. So I probably will stack any of the ones we find just because of that bug. Because I would be worried to shoot it and then have it turn to a common. Maybe, Kathy. Maybe. I'd say they would have to for something like this. It's a pretty major bug. Could always shoot it and not place it in the lodge. Maybe, Clay Drew, maybe. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how things go. I'll probably end up just leaving it alive until we get more info. Oh, that's a new one. And it's one that we don't have to shoot. Okay, perfect. Look at that little feller. He's so cute. Maybe though, hotfix will correct it to common on your map. 
Yeah, but I, I'm okay with that. That's what I'm saying is, if it is a bug and they're showing up as the wrong fur type, I'd rather shoot it in the state of its proper fur type. Like, uh, if it really is a bug with the special fur types just showing when they're not supposed to, I'd be okay with it uh, changing it to a common after an update, right? As long as I get to shoot it and then it looks the same in the lodge, even if it's common. Why don't I shoot the threes? No, it's just it's just the threes with the same antlers as the twos I don't shoot. That level three has the exact same rack as one of the level twos, so... No need to shoot those. Is the old muzzle loader good for the moose? I mean, it'll, it'll kill them pretty quick. I wouldn't recommend using a muzzle loader for a moose, but... You could. You think there should be a blacktail great one? 100% Blake. That's my most wanted one. I want to see a great one blacktail, great one mule deer, both elk, fallow deer, seek a deer, pretty much anything with antlers to be honest. Roe deer, axis deer. I feel like axis deer is one that nobody talks about, but would actually prob would actually look pretty ridiculous, I think. I could see a uh, great one axis deer looking ridiculous. Hey Johnny, how's it going? I heard that uh, the hotfix fixed your game. All right, nothing there. Perfect. Need an Australia map, I want to smoke a kangaroo. Yeah, that'd be fun, Zero. That would be fun. Nice, Johnny. Yeah, it's good to see that you're able to play again, finally. What do I think is the best whitetail map? Either uh, Leighton or Revon Thule. They're both pretty good. Both are very solid for them. Not gonna lie, this right here is one of my most consistent zones now. I always get a shootable here. Every single run. It's been a good one. It's been a very good one. Honestly, I think it's gonna be a matter of like, finding 16 different zones where I can kill one moose out of it. Cause, a lot of times if there's two shootables in a herd, even if it's a herd of four, one of them, for some reason, does not come back to that zone and ends up going somewhere else. I don't know why, but uh, it seems to happen a lot. <laughs> great one elk would be sick, man. Um, David, thank you for the super chat. Just shot my first great one whitetail three hours ago. Nice, that's awesome, dude. Congrats on that. Thank you for the super chat. I'm doing good, NBS. I'm doing good. Appalachian Mountains, hint, hint, Smoky Mountains, North Carolina map. That could be cool, Landon. That could be cool for sure. Another big four in that zone. Like I was saying, this zone has been so consistent with fours and fives. Would not be surprised if we get a great one out of this zone right here. Come on. Really? Right behind her. Uh, Marcel, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing great. Got him. Nice, Ron. That's awesome. That is always a big accomplishment with the moose grind. Getting that river to all twos is great.
This is the 300 Magnum official god. It is. It is the 300 Magnum. There is customization in the game if you didn't know. You can customize your rifle. Which is why mine looks different. I also have the, the shiny barrel one right here. Two twenty-two. Ah, oh, we probably spooked that zone. That's right. Gosh, I gotta remember that I need to check this zone before ATVing over here. I always forget that. Looks like a hot dog. <laughs> That's amazing. No, Vert, we haven't got a third one yet. It's been like, let's see, um, ah, uh, closing in on four hundred kills since our last great one. I haven't grinded as hard the last few days because I've been kind of taking a break from the first couple grinds. Because we were pushing pretty hard the first few days to try and get them as quick as we could. And now I'm kind of just on cruise control, relaxing a little bit more. Just uh, doing the grind casually, or I guess more casually. A, a scarecrow grind's never really casual, but more casual than I was. All right, nothing here. And no, that's not a melanistic uh, cow. Because I know at least one person is going to say that. It's just the lighting. That is a common. She's been there ever since the beginning of the grind. Like all the other cows. Uh, it's already live, Luke. Nice, zero. That's crazy, Cannon. That's crazy. Imagine being able to take one down at level 8. That's wild. Sir, can you move? I'm uh, not sure, Dusky. I've heard a couple people mention that recently. I don't know what would cause it, though. Oh, definitely will. The moose grind has a ton of walking involved. Nice gum, that's awesome, dude. Congrats on that. Oh no, Kathy, that's not good. Ah, uh, that's weird, Cosmic. I don't know why that would be. But like I've said, I, I don't really know uh, what goes on with the console builds of the game, as I don't play console. So I'm probably not the best source of information for the console side of things. Yeah, it happens a lot, Lies. It happens quite a bit with the moose grind as well. like. I have to go through every single zone at least once every day just to check for stragglers. Nice VH, that's awesome. Favorite fast food restaurant? Uh, Five Guys, easily Sullivan. Five Guys is the way to go. Such a fantastic restaurant. Like, the quality in the food at Five Guys is just above any other fast food place. It's also a little bit more pricey, but, you know, you're paying for the extra quality. The extra quality is pretty ridiculously good. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, oh my gosh! 
You don't go to Five Guys for cheap food. You go there for good food. That's the way I see it. Blood down. Thank you so much for the super chat. Do you pass the really small level threes or just twos? Um, I'll pass up the three if it looks like a two. If it's got the same antlers as a two, then I will. Um... It got reset with the big update that happened on December 6th, uh, Charles. Nice, Kale. That's awesome. That is super awesome. Are leucistic pronghorn really rare? Yeah, they are. Yeah, Five Guys is great, Sullivan. Love it. Six level nines will migrate one be soon. There's no way to know, Avric. They're random. You can never predict a great one. I've had some take six to seven thousand kills, and then I've had some take under a hundred. It is uh, very random. Um, I like both of them, uh, Sandre. It depends on the species, right? Like, each species has a different looking Mela. Each species has a different looking Albino. And so it's really dependent on the individual species. Seventy-five hundred. Oh gosh, man, that's rough. Yeah, John Day, the solo males are the toughest part. Not sure, Colton. Um, haven't finished recording the next episode, so. Probably gonna be a little bit before it comes out. In fact, I should probably finish recording it today. Believe it or not, videos don't always get recorded the day that they get posted. A lot of times it takes a couple days to get a video like fully ready and out. Nice writers, that's awesome. Uh, no, Caleb, they can't. No, Dusk, I haven't. Haven't been able to yet. Uh, no, Dylan, no video today. We did a short instead. Does zone swapping still work? I don't know, Indo. I haven't tried it in ages. So I don't know if it, uh, don't know if it does. I feel like it doesn't anymore. Not sure, Brayden. I've heard a few people talking about that, but I don't know why that would be. Best map to hunt Blacktail? I would say uh, Leighton Lakes since it's the only map that can have them. Gotta go with good old Leighton. Look at that little level one. So adorable. All right, nothing here. Not bad. So a lot of those places I thought we might have stragglers don't. Interesting.
Best way to hunt for high level moose? Um, if you're looking for best, herd management's probably the best. I feel like we've got more females here. I don't know. Either that or just some of the males are missing. I definitely think there's something missing here. Like I used to have two shootables here. Now I've got none. And I don't have I don't have any more twos or anything either. Where have they gone, man? Like, I, I'm missing one from here as well. I shot one last night and it did not come back to the same zone. There's three missing here and have been missing for a good amount of time. I might need to look around the lake a little bit more. Uh, see if maybe they've moved over. Uh, maybe Giga Chad, maybe. Sounds about right, Diffusion. I, I believe it. Where's the moose, man? I don't see my moose. I don't see my shootable mooses. This is just, this is just wrong, Call of the Wild. Give me my shootable moose. Where are they? Let's walk the entire lake. I gotta see if maybe we're missing something here. What do I want the next great one to be? Um, I would say Blacktail or Mule Deer. Either of those would be good. Yeah, Donde, there's definitely no shortage of different options for uh, the Moose Grind. What the? Oh my gosh, really? This is what's going on here? That's where one of them moved? It just created a brand new solo zone right where my tent is. No wonder I haven't seen you. Wow, this is why you always check everywhere. Even if you're confident they're not there, still check it. Because that can happen. I hope it's not, Johnny. I hope it's not. <laughs> that would be a great one that not many people would hunt for. Unless it had a higher spawn rate than uh, the other great ones. Even with New England being good for Fox, I don't know if many people would grind for a great one, Fox. Definitely, Kathy. It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun for sure. Besides bear, what do I think the hardest great one is? I'd say moose. Moose are tough to grind just because they're so inconsistent and so spread across every single map that they exist on. They are definitely up there. All right, so there is just one here. It's this one.
Above bear? Um, I don't, I don't say above bear. As somebody was asking besides bear. Somebody had said besides bear, what do I think is the toughest? And so I said moose. Because they definitely are the uh, toughest besides bear. Oh, definitely, uh, none. Definitely. It was tough. Yes, yeah, sadly, Johnny. Though I'd like, to, I'd like to see Everhong a great one. Like, as soon as they can get one there. Like, that'd be awesome. But yeah, it's unlikely to be anytime soon, that's for sure. Uh, Hunter, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. First time watcher, long time sub. If you could put one species, current or new, onto any map, what would it be? Um, Pierre David's Deer to Parque Fernando. That would be my pick for a new species. Uh, for an existing one, I would say I would just love to see um, Roosevelt Elk on a new map or Blacktail on a new map. I don't really care which one, but just give them another place to be hunted. So many of us would be so happy. Thank you for the super chat, though, once again. Three there. Let's uh, see if we got any close zone. Because this is what got us one time. Was we randomly had a zone like right over here that was housing a couple uh, shootables. Don't see him though. I think we're actually good. I think we're good. Exactly, Bazooka. Exactly, man. It doesn't always happen instantly. There can definitely be some times where it takes a while. It's just part of the fun of the game. You never quite know what you're going to find. Should do a great one, Jackalope. That could be interesting. That could definitely be interesting. Doll sheep would be pretty sick, uh, Johnny. So would like a coo steer and Sitka blacktail. Would love to see those as well. Oh my gosh, Evan. Dude. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. That is super generous of you. That is super generous, man. Just spawned my second great one, Whitetail, and one super rare thanks to you and herd management. Keep it up, Crow. You're the go-to. Thank you, man. Really appreciate that. That is super awesome. Congrats on those trophies. That is amazing, man. Once again, thank you so much for that. That's that's ridiculously generous. Like insanely generous. All right, let's do this test on this. Like, are we just like standing on top of a zone? Maybe imagine if we're doing that on like half of our zones, just uh, randomly standing on top of one that has something to shoot. I could totally see that happening with more than just one since it happened once already. Uh, not sure, none. I don't really use AMD, uh, components in my PCs. Typically, I always go with Intel. Don't see anything yet, but we gotta try it. Stop wasting money by time changing and main menu and go back. That that doesn't work the same. Time changes are much more reliable. I'm about the speed. 
Going to the main menu does not get your animals into their zones as consistently as uh, time reset spamming. Spamming time resets is much more reliable. And like I said, I'm about consistency and uh, speed. I don't care if it's cheaper to just go to the main menu. It, it's going to take much longer to get them there. Would never grind for Gator? Yeah. Gator would be tough, man. Gator would be really, really tough. You know, we might have a similar situation going on here. We've been missing a respawn here for a little bit. We've had one or two respawns that's very weird and inconsistent. What is, uh, what if there's like some where our tent is right now? We're gonna walk this one instead of ATVing. Yeah, it, it's fine if I waste a bunch of cash on resets. I've got like 13.2 million. I think we'll be fine. If I get low on cash, I can always just grind red deer again. Hey, Nathan, how's it going, dude? That would be cool, uh, some buck. I would love to see wood duck. Hey, turkey, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. I got a female there and another female yeah, I don't think there's anything that popped up over here it's possible that one showed up here I already checked uh, the secret lake right here and I checked this one they're still the same but maybe this one's got an extra oh gosh yeah Johnny that would be ugh. that'd be interesting I don't know how I'd feel about that one if they did a rabbit, great one. Uh, I don't know if I'd ever go for that. I don't know if I'd ever try to get it. Uh, no, Amanda. I don't think I'll ever get a full great one lodge. I like to keep all my main trophies in the same lodge. Hoping that one day they'll just give us a bigger lodge. That'd be cool. Scrub hair would be dope. Definitely diffusion. Definitely. Wait, we're talking about great ones, aren't we? No, no. Scrub hair would not be dope. Lost track of what we were talking about for a second because I was so focused on trying to figure out what's going on with these moose. I would not like, I would not like a great one scrub hair. Forgot what we were talking about for a second. <laughs> yeah, I've checked all the other secret lakes as well. We haven't made menu in a bit. We might need to. Get uh, some of the respawns back and the herd's not spooked anymore. It'd be the not so great one. Exactly. Where did this guy go? 
I'm telling you, I feel like some of these respawns just disappear. Like, I've gone through so much of the map, like, all the other spots that I don't normally hunt, I've checked them so many times. And I feel like I'm still just missing some moose. Really just feels like they disappear out of nowhere. Uh, maybe gum it's hard to say the thing is like they've been pretty consistent for me and then out of nowhere they just start being uh, less consistent like I'll have some zones that have been super good and then just out of nowhere they stop being good and then I can't figure out where they've gone there is some weird stuff that goes on with this moose grind like some really weird stuff I'm gonna walk this one again just to see if we've got any like right around here. Do I know when the wolves drink? I believe 17, right? I think somebody was saying like 17 or 18, somewhere in that range. Uh, maybe at least. I think we'll be doing an angler video, or not video, but a, um, a stream on it eventually. Not today, but I would like to eventually get another angler stream going. Probably try to get a Kill Clinton and Brober in on the action. Possibly uh, my wife as well. Yeah, Rubzilla, we got two of them. Wolf is 17 to 20. Okay, that's not bad. That's not too bad at all. Hey, Jacob, how's it going? We check here? I mean, we could. And you know what? We'll do that on a different run. I'm going to just check our main zones repeatedly. That's yeah, going to be really interesting, uh, Ben. I'm curious how that's going to work. I haven't really uh, taken a look at it. Um, how could I forget it, Zion? How, how could I- how could I forget a super rare? <laughs> they definitely are, Johnny. You know, I'm curious, uh, why they've suddenly gone back to, like, having different maps have different times for things. Like, they were trying to streamline it. And then, this update, they randomly just, like, made it so different maps have different times for some of the species. Kinda just, like, going back to what they previously had. It's interesting. It's very interesting. Um, I think it's after you claim them VH, but nobody really knows. That's just the theory that I have. But because I change the time very often, Alex, it increases the more you change the time. Hey, Faded, how's it going? Three, three. All right, so we shouldn't have any new ones here. If it's just a zone of three, there shouldn't be any new ones.
No respawn here again. What's going on, man? They can't be at these four lakes, so I don't have to check those. Where are my respawns going? They've got to be, like, hiding on this north coast somewhere. I feel like they just got to be. I'm, I'm like, completely stumped at where most of my moose are going. Like, it, they're not even turning to twos. I think they're literally just disappearing. And I can't figure out where they've gone to. It's crazy, though. They just seemingly van seemingly vanish into thin air. Great one, Bluegill, to the angler. That'd be interesting. Let's see, what do we got here after another reset? Yeah, I don't know where they're going. Where are the respawns going, man? That one's still just three. I'm stumped. I don't know where they could be. Nice, Tyler. Those are hard to get, man. Like, level one moose are not very common. They rarely show up. Something like that, Johnny. Pop Island Coast. Are you talking about this? I, I've checked this. I just went through there recently. We might check it again, but I, I was just there yesterday. The only thing we really have up there is level twos. Uh, yeah, Rob, level one moose are very hard to find from what I've seen. I barely see any of them show up. All right, let's walk this one again. We'll see if maybe we're missing some zones right here. Because I still think there's a chance we're missing a few. I mean, I don't see any tracks, though. So hard to say. Uh, what do you mean, Johnny? Uh, not, not, not Johnny, not the mod Johnny, but the Johnny below him. What do you mean by check the queue up along the edge of the map? Oh, no worries, Dastin. No worries. Don't need to spam it, but no worries. I think so, Noel. I think you definitely could. I could see that being possible. I zeroed wrong. <laughs> I was zeroed for 75 for some reason. Not sure how that happened. Nice, Ron. That's awesome. That is super awesome. Super duper awesome. 
Not a video, but I'll do a stream, Inferno. By the green of the map? What do you mean by the green of the map? There's so there's so much green. I I don't I, I don't know what you're talking about. There's so much green, man. There there's green all over. Are you talk Are you talking about like, like this? If so, I've already checked that area lots. Just got this game last week. Do you recommend turn the FOV all the way up? Uh, just turn it to your personal liking, man. That's what I did. Doesn't have to be all the way up. It's a hunting game, so you don't really need like the uh, super wide field of view to get any type of uh, PVP advantage. So just whichever one looks best to you. The top. I, I guess we could check that spot again. We'll have to. We'll do it in a little bit, though. I'm gonna finish up this run. This respawn's not back either. You know what? We're gonna run the river. We're doing it. We're gonna run the river. There definitely could be a few that we're missing on the river. Why when I open up the store menu, game money on PS4, the game crashes? I don't know, man. I would report that to uh, Call the Wild support. Because uh, that seems like a bug. Most likely. So I would probably let Steam support know. Or not Steam support, uh, Call the Wild support. They would probably know more about it. RTP, thank you for the super chat. Got my herd management perfect. I think I got two 300 max weight moose yesterday. Nice, dude. That's awesome. That is super awesome. Thank you for the super chat once again as well. Yes, Andre, definitely. It's cool that they really put a lot of detail into the Moose Great one. How do you change the FOV on console? Does anyone know? I don't know if you can. I can't remember if it's possible on console. Oh, that's not good, Tegan. I wonder why it would be doing that. Hey, Sari, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. 600 kills? Jeez, that's crazy. I mean, you're approaching where I got my first one, so... Maybe you'll get it soon. Oh, it used to be possible? I didn't know that, Johnny. I didn't know that it used to be possible and then they removed it. That's crazy. Favorite map? Uh, Tiawaroa. Love me some Tiawaroa. Favorite great one? I'd say the moose if we're looking at just the look of them. Favorite in terms of like the grind and the animal, I'd say whitetail. I love grinding for whitetail. 
and the great one looks great for the white tail but if we're just looking at the great one alone i'd say moose uh my little turtler how's it going dude thank you for the super chat from new here was wondering do you have to get the zones to get the great one to spawn uh no you don't have to get all zones to get a great one to spawn you can just start shooting them and any any that you shoot will have a chance at coming back as a great one you don't have to have all your zones oh, yes, it's, oh my God. thank you so much though and bart thank you for the super chat as well really appreciate it Hope that both of you have been having a fantastic day. Really appreciate the support. Do I think Rebon Tuli or Layton is better for whitetail grinding? I like Layton better. However, both are very good. Leighton and Rev are both very good. Okay, this is the area we usually have one shootable. Maybe not this time, though? I, I guess we'll see. We're approaching it from a different angle than normal. Yeah, I feel like respawns are being very weird for me. Getting some very strange stuff going on. Hey, Huntress, how's it going? What's my favorite great one fur? I would say it's the fabled birch. But then the uh, fabled ashen, oak, and two-tone are also pretty good. Can I do a great one moose grind on Revon Tuli? You could totally. I'm not going to personally, but you could totally get that to work. Uh, Istvan, thank you so much for the three months. Welcome back. Welcome back. Come on, Moose. Where's the great one? And where's just any of my respawns? Where'd they go, man? I'm convinced they don't exist anymore. <laughs> Hey, Noah, how's it going, dude? Where's all my moose? Yeah, we still don't have the respawn here either. Man. Fifteen thirty-eight. we still got time. Maybe, Johnny. <laughs> Just feels like we're missing some. And I can't find where they are. I'm telling you. They've just disappeared off the face of the earth. Yeah, Nathan. Yeah, you're in the... Uh, oh. What the... Uh, 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 hey! Uh, okay, I found where one of them went. That's not a diamond. There's no way. Oh my gosh. It has its own right here. It has its own right here! <laughs> oh my gosh. That's literally right below my tent. No wonder I didn't see it. Yep. Okay, well. Beautiful. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> these moose, man. These moose move so much. Just a five chilling? I know. How long has he been here? This guy could have been here for like a whole week and I probably wouldn't have even noticed. All right, guess we're going to time reset and try to get him. Well, that was crazy. <laughs> he was definitely here the whole time. Like, I, I don't know how we didn't notice him. I mean, I, I can definitely tell why we didn't notice him, but still, how did we miss him? Oh my gosh, Bart. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you so much, dude. That is ridiculously generous. Merry Christmas and how long does it take usually to get a great one? Uh, Merry Christmas to you as well, Bart. Um, it can vary. It can vary quite a bit for great ones. For some people, it happens within a couple hundred kills. Uh, for others, it can take 10,000. It, it's very random. I'd say in general, most people get it usually between two and 4,000 though, but it, it's pretty hard to predict when it'll happen. Okay, he's not there after the reset. We might need to main menu. Nice, Tyler, nice. Uh, no, bull riding boy. We have not found another uh, great one. We found a random diamond potential uh, level five though Got your red deer at 968 nice dude nice I uh, know Joshua we haven't found a great one. We found a level five though. We're trying to get him down. Hey shush Silly moose. Still not there. This is going to be a tough one because I don't have a, um, I don't have a tent set up where I can just reset the time and see if he's there. Like I can't see him until we run up to him. We'll just do a little bit of that. Maybe back up a little bit, see if uh, these ones show up. Okay, so they are there. I'd say our five is probably there as well. These are here, this zone showed up, so I think we should be good. Dylan, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Much appreciated. Hope you've been enjoying the stream. Uh, whenever you're satisfied with your herds, uh, McCheeserton. Whenever you're satisfied with where your herds are. That's really all it comes down to. There he is. All right, mister. You little sneaky moose. You're going down. Smoked him. Favorite game? Uh, Escape from Tarkov. 
which will be getting a uh, new update very soon. I like it, Keat. I think it's a good map. New England's probably number five or so for me. Not the best map, but it's a good map. That's kind of how I see it. And it trolled. Uh, of course. Uh, Dylan, thank you for another super chat, dude. Any tips on a great one moose setup? Um, well, with the moose, they, they move so much and they're so spread out. I would very, very highly recommend just searching every bit of water on your map and then setting your tents up based on what your best zones end up being. It's a tough one to set up for. This is one of the few grinds where I really can't give tips for tent placement because everybody's map is going to be so drastically different by the time you finish grinding. It's a tough one to give tips on. So I would say jump on your map, switch it to their drink time, check everything out, see where all of your zones are, and then kind of base your decision off of that. Well, after they made them easier to get, Nico, they have been popping up uh, for every single great one from what I've seen. Uh, my little turtler, thank you so much for the super chat once again. How many hours do I think I have in the hunter? I've got just under 4,700. And that's not counting hours put into my other two Call of the Wild accounts because I have one for challenges. I've got one for, and by challenges, I mean like old series like uh, Realistic Hunts. And then I've got the Epic Games account for the beginner series. So I'd say probably closer to 5,000 if you add in the hours from those two. Got a double heart shot on Mies. Nice draw. And that's always satisfying. Always very satisfying with them for sure. Yeah, definitely, Sari. Definitely. They move a lot from what I've seen. Like, I'm finding them in just, like, the most random places. Areas that I swear I've checked a ton. And then I've had some that literally show up, like, right next to my tent, so they just never render in until I run away from it. We've had that happen twice today, where a zone just happened to be right next to my tent. Oh, we will, Hunter. We'll get to another one eventually. Okay, this area, from what I remember, cannot have moose. So I don't think we have to worry about that. I do need to recheck the crater, though. Three geese with one shell. Nice, Rob. Oh, no, Ace Point. That's rough. When am I going to do the wheel challenge again? Uh, we'll get to it eventually. A lot of times, guys, I really don't know the timeline on when we'll get more of like 60 minute or random wheel. It's kind of just like if I start recording one on a recording day, then that's when we get it. I've been doing a lot more of the beginner series because we've got that going. But don't worry, there will be more of all these other series. Excuse me, wolves. Do not come for me. I have a 22. 
Is it really just a solo wolf? It is. Wow. Maybe, Johnny. It's hard to say. It's really hard to say. Like, Moose are uh, the first grind where I'm, I'm truly stumped with so many things. Like, so many unexplainable things have happened during this grind. Where it's just like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, of course we check this and they're not here. Ay. Oh yeah, they are. I guess the solo just isn't here and neither is this zone. I mean, this all looks fine so far, but again, not all of them are here. If I could add any great one, what would it be? Blacktail deer. For sure. Decent sized Uh, technically, yes, Averick, but there's really no lot like there's no like plausible chance of it happening though It technically is possible, but the odds are so low that nobody's ever gonna get one really I think there's only been two level 8 diamond red deer ever killed that are confirmed at least And I believe both of those were before True Rex, even. Uh, no NFA. There is no Great One Elk yet. Maybe one of these days we'll get one. But right now, there isn't. If you have a five spawn, do you kill it or no? Depends on what stage of your grind you're in, right? If you're doing herd management, then you stack them until you don't need to anymore. When your map's in a good place, you kill them. That's what I do. I'm already past the stacking stage, so I don't need to stack anymore. You gotta watch the, uh, the herd management guide. I really recommend it. Herd management guide that I've got for Whitetail will help you out the most. Because I explain it better in that than I can live. The moose looks so good in the sun, by the way. Love how good their fur looks in the sun. Yeah, GBG, I have. Uh, same way you would for any other species, Frizz. The stacking is literally just not shooting the diamonds. That's all there is to it. It's just not shooting the diamonds. See if maybe we got a close zone here that we're not uh, noticing. That's wild boar.
Because I time reset like every single zone, Quentin, to force them into their zone. That's why it's expensive for me. Uh, yeah, Frizz, exactly. Bard, thank you for another super chat. My gosh, you are ridiculously generous. Holy. That's insane, man. That's crazy. Really appreciate it. About how many diamonds do you think I have in all? Just under 2,000. But most of them are from herd management with, uh, white tail and red deer. Uh, yeah, HP, it is my full-time job. I mean, that's up to you, Sinoy. That is up to you, my dude. Oh, we got one of our respawns back here. After so long of nothing, one just shows up. This is what I'm saying. They're so weird. These moose are so weird. They bounce from zone to zone all the time. Like every single run, it's like this. Uh, buddy, no, please. Please don't do that. <laughs> No, 122, I don't. Nice, Ron. Come on, Mooseys. Give us the great one. Actually, just give us anything. I'm not even... I, I'd just be happy to see my normal amount of moose. They're just, they just seem non-existent. Moose do not exist. Scarecrow confirmed it. Moose are a figment of our imagination. Let's check. We got something. Oh, that's a moose zone. Okay, this is where one of them is. I think we found one of them. No, it's a female. I didn't know we had a female right here. I, I guess I've always had a female moose there and didn't realize it. Crazy. Uh, Jet, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it, man. Welcome back. Hope you've been doing good. Oh, no worries, Kathy. Welcome back for as long as you're able to be back. Hope you're doing good. All right, we'll try one more reset here and see if it does anything. The moose are being strange today. It seems like the further I've got into herd management, the more weird the moose have been. Like there's two. I don't feel, I feel like we didn't have two here before, but I don't want to shoot the wrong one. I got to figure out which one is from each herd. Okay, so this is the smaller one. We'll keep him spotted. We're going to keep him spotted and uh, figure out which herd he's from, how many are in his herd, and then decide whether or not we're going to shoot him. Because I got a feeling one of those is a solo. We 
237. Okay, there is a track from him. But he doesn't actually have a drink zone track here. What is this? What are these drink, drink zones going to say? Three. 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 One. Which one of these is a solo? One of the females is a solo. I wish I could figure out which one of those males is with each herd. Because they always uh, mix into like one big group. I need to figure out which one of those twos is with the uh, one that we just shot and which one is with the two cows. Or if that even is the composition of their herds. If we can figure that out, then we can uh, shoot one of those twos to get another shootable. Well, three. I know, right, Kathy? They just don't want to be easy. Thankfully, I do have a few moves that are 100% consistent. Like, I always have one shootable here. Um, one here. Usually one at this lake. Typically one here and then one down a little bit. And then one here, one here. So, I do have some that are very consistent and then others that aren't. Not gonna lie, this grind might end up being just uh, repeating on like seven different moose. Because I've noticed that like those always come back every single run no matter what. And so I'm wondering, could I just grind literally seven respawns and dedicate all of my tents there? So I could have claiming tents? Because those are the ones that always come back. They never seem to move. So I wonder if I could just rotate on seven different moose. And then maybe I could make this grind as quick as the whitetail grind. Just have 14 tents dedicated to seven moose. All right, let's do another quick check back here. Once again, nothing. Let's go down here. Nice arrow, that's awesome. Uh, did it stay Ashton or did it turn common in the trophy lodge? I'm curious because there's been some weirdness going on with them. Um, I'd say if I wasn't doing YouTube, it would be, Michael. But because I do YouTube, grinding doesn't really get boring because I've got all of you to chat with. And I'm making content out of it as well, so it's more exciting because I'm not just, uh, not just doing it for myself. Also doing it to entertain you guys, so it makes it more exciting. For sure. It stayed Ashen? Okay, that's lucky then. Because a lot of people have been having them turn into commons whenever they get put in the lodge. Ooh, that's unfortunate, Kathy. Hey, Caitlin, how's it going? I can't remember if I said hi to you or not. I saw you pop in briefly, and I, I don't think I said hi. So how you doing? Unfortunate, Nappy. I've had quite a few trolls in this grind myself. It's been a tough one, man. Lots of trolls popping up. Okay, seems pretty much the same as it was. And I know this is all females. It's completely uh, filled up with females. 
Is there another... I know there's another hidden lake somewhere. I think it's... This one? Or actually... No, this is it. This is it right there. I think. Oh, I've got new moose there. Oh my gosh, I swear to God. Oh, that's antlers. That's 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 shootable moose antlers right there. That's big moose antlers. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? This had no zones last time I was here. There was no zones here the last two times I've checked this spot. And now there is. I literally just checked this zone like yesterday. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Oh, there's multiple there. There's literally two there. Ah, I gotta put a tent here. Oh my gosh, wow. Not gonna be able to sneak up to them, I don't think. Yeah, there's no way I can sneak to them. We're just gonna push them out. Is there three here? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they're all here! What the? <laughs> they're literally all here! What is this? <laughs> Call of the Wild, why are you hiding the moose from me like this? That's just cruel! They've all gone here. That's why they just slowly start disappearing from my main zones. Oh my gosh. That is unbelievable. Call of the wild, why would you do this to me? That's insane. <laughs> Look at all these freaking moose zones. Well, I gotta put a tent here. I have to. That's crazy. That is insane that they were all just here. At least they didn't disappear. I know. That that is good. I'm glad they didn't fully disappear, but still, really? And like I had some big ones here. Look at this. There was two massive ones here. Watch us get a great one now. Watch watch a great one show up because we found this zone. Man, where am I going to put the tent to check this area? I don't know. Okay, the other one died. Let's go find it. You know, right as I was saying that I've checked all the hidden lakes multiple times and that there's nothing there, well, this happens. I mean, I'm just happy that we found them, to be honest. I'm just so happy that we figured out where they are. No wonder so many of my moose just disappeared into thin air. They've all been hiding here. And it seems they created brand new zones as well. Or not brand new zones, brand new herds. Oh, I wonder if it's one of the cows that we killed. We've accidentally killed a couple cows during this grind. What if those cows we killed formed herds with, uh... A couple of the males that we had killed and they showed up here therefore taking them away from our main zones I wonder I'm also really curious what our next run is gonna look like now that we've killed a couple from here where are they gonna go to it is appearing common now Last night it was still ashen. Ooh, that's not good, Arrow. Yeah, I've got a suspicion that they, um, that something is bugged with the fur types for the Great One Moose. Got suspicions that there's still some bugs with them. Okay, so we need to figure out what we're going to do for a tent. What tent can I remove? <sighs> Ow! Sir, chill? 
Please, no, don't do that. Probably this one. We can remove this one, I think. If all of your latent whitetail are level 1's friction, you probably are missing some zones. If you manage to get all of them to level 1, then you're definitely missing some zones. All right, everybody in everybody in the chat, chill. Let the moderators handle things. Don't get involved with it. It just makes it more convoluted and difficult to deal with for the moderators. If somebody's be if somebody's breaking rules in chat, they will handle it. I we don't need everybody else trying to like do the moderating for them. They've got it. Just relax and watch the stream. Big four. Holy. I shouldn't have shot while he had his head up. Could have got heart, but I should have waited until he put his head down. I don't believe so, Justin. I don't believe so. He was just in here recently. You can, uh, Bruno. You can get a great one without doing any type of grind. You could literally just shoot one moose or one whitetail, one bear, one red deer, and then the next one spawn is a great one. It's totally possible. You don't have to herd manage in order to get great ones. A lot of times it just makes the grind go smoother. 259. Big male. Super big male. Yeah, I'm sure Johnny's super happy to be able to play again. That had to have been rough. That had to have been super rough. Uh, let's main menu real quick. Uh, yeah, Zeno, they have the, uh, uh, official The Hunter Discord. Yeah, no problem, Bruno. Always happy to help. That's a big male. Probably diamond, actually. Or is that a... What wreck is that? That looks huge. That thing looks huge, man. Ah, it's just a four, but that is a really big four. Turn for me. I believe in you. You can do it, sir. There we go. You immediately got a troll moose? Oh no, Johnny. Hey, at least you're able to hunt them now. Oh, that is understandable, Johnny. I think this is honestly... If you're if you're gonna pick a great one grind to just not do herd management on, moose is definitely the one. Um, you know what's crazy is I buy, who uses herd management with pretty much anything, didn't really even get very far into herd management before both of his spawned. So I I really don't think you need super high level herd management to get good luck with the great one moose. Seems like more people are getting it without herd management than the other great ones. 
So I'd say it's definitely the one where if you don't want to do herd management, this is definitely the great one to go for. Seems like people are having pretty good luck with just blasting everything. Hard to say, Zyphon. It's so early on to see like what the upper limits are going to be. Um, I don't believe so, Drawn. I think it might have just been you. I think everybody else was good. It looks fine on my end, so... Oh yeah, Johnny. Definitely uh, lots of customization to go through. That's for sure. Still nothing there. You know, there's a secret lake around this area. Right here. What if I've got stuff there too? Let's let's go check it. Um, Huntress, thank you so much for the super chat. May not be able to watch your videos all the time due to my vision, but I will continue to support your channel. Thank you for all your help. Of course, anytime, Huntress. Anytime. I appreciate you being here whenever you're able to. Totally understandable if you're not able to be here all the time. Totally get it. But thank you so much for uh, for the super chat. <laughs> Maybe, Siphon. <laughs> That'd be my luck. I still can't believe that one lake. We had like five shootable males there. Like, I don't think there was a single level two inside at that lake. It was just five that I need to take down. <laughs> Oh, this has been a crazy one. This has been a crazy stream so far. Um... No, uh, militant plot. You don't have to be 400 yards away to place a tent. I place my tents around 200 to 220 meters away from an animal or away from a zone. Because you don't actually spook anything by having your tent close. It just prevents them from rendering in if you're too close. But around 220 meters has been a good spot for me. I don't know what the conversion would be in yards. Probably like 240 or 250, somewhere in that range, if you're using a Imperial system. All right, let's do a test. Will anything pop up when I do this? Because this is something that I haven't been doing when I check these lakes, and maybe that's why we're not... It is. It's why we're not seeing them. Oh my gosh, that's exactly why. That's a moose. That's not one that we need to shoot, though. There's got to... What if there's one close, too? Oh my gosh. This is what I need to be doing. I need to bring the tent with me when I'm checking zones, and then time reset at every single one of them. This is wild, man. There's there's so much. So much that we missed. Crazy. There's that zone. I mean, it's a solo. Yeah, it's terrible, Johnny. This is so bad. It's just part of the moose grind, though. They move a lot. Like I've been saying since the beginning of the grind, like, moose move all the time, and so it's very hard to keep track of them. I'd like to think that I'm relatively thorough with my grinds, and even I'm having trouble keeping up with them. Oh. 
One more reset. Let's see if a new one shows up. Man, I'm going to go broke just trying to figure out where all these moose are. Okay, I think we can safely say there's just one here. And we actually don't need to shoot that one, so even better. Even better, man. That's just insane, though. Uh, let's see. We checked all the hidden lakes. We got one there, one there. Um, we checked the one that is right here. Um, I know there's another one that we've checked. I don't remember where it's located, though. Is that it? I, no, it can't be it. Do you guys remember where the rest of the hidden lakes are? Close to the one I just checked. Okay. Uh, that. that that's got to be it, right? Yeah, it's got to be it. That is one? Oh, it is, Johnny? So... Where did it go? I, I just looked at it. This one right here? Were you saying that this was one, Johnny? Oh yeah, by the skull by the skull rock, okay. Or skull mountain. Got you. I know the one that we're going to now is one. That one should be? Okay, Johnny. Alright, so that means we got the last two. We're heading over to this one, and then we'll check the one by Skull Mountain. I cannot believe that we've had so many moose hiding this whole time, and I just didn't notice because they weren't at their zones when I checked. That's crazy, man. We probably missed so many moose because of this. How broke are we now? We've already lost like 50,000 this stream from time resets. Should you shoot all your fives and fours at once or separate runs? Uh, you can just shoot them however, or I guess whichever order you'd like to dynamic. I almost said however order and then realized that's not a sentence. Not a real sentence. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do is time reset before we go over there. Hopefully, this will get them there the first time we check. Uh, maybe Grayson. I'd like to see them added. I think squirrels would be pretty awesome. Yeah, Bart, my, uh, my money is going to be down the drain after this grind. Like, the amount of time resets I've had to do just to check my zones is crazy. Okay, yeah, this lake didn't have anything the first time I went through here, but doesn't mean they couldn't show up. In fact, I just need the zone to show up. Uh, ooh. What's that? What is this from? Wild boar. Okay, so it's not a moose. Let's time reset once on the ice and see if we see any uh, need zones pop up around us. I don't see any need zone icons on the ground. Or not icons, but you know, the track. I, I think this like actually doesn't have any. 
Because it was the same the last time I was here and the time before that. So I think that one is good. I think we're good on that one. Uh, that'll be the last one to check. We'll check that a bit later, though. I want to get this tent set up for this lake. But uh, we should probably finish this run, right? We should probably go check the other spots. How far does the mating call sound? Usually about 150, I believe, Luxurio. Or Luxurio? Is it Luxurio? I think that would be the right way to say it. Yeah, it's around 150 meters. If I'm not mistaken. It's nice to have a shootable in this uh, zone again. From what I've seen, Zaro, I think it does. Most people that do no claim grinds tend to take much longer to get their great one from what I've seen. So I definitely don't recommend doing it if you can avoid it. I recommend claiming every single one of your kills, or as many as you can. I claim around like 90% of my kills with this moose grind and it's gone pretty smoothly. Or as smooth as a moose grind could be. Oh, they were, Johnny? I'm glad to hear that. That's awesome. I thought they looked really good when I picked them out for you, so... I thought that they might be pretty good. And okay, we got one there. Now, where is the other one? <laughs> Don't know what they're doing. I feel like that guy's gotta be a solo. I'm afraid to shoot either of the level twos that show up here. Just in case they uh are solos. All right, we kept the two spotted so I could go check it. So, uh, unfortunately I wasn't able to get as many shots into that three as I would have liked, but it is what it is. No, you can shoot solos, uh, dynamic. I'm just, uh, I'm looking for very specific things with this zone. That's why I'm like checking to see if it's a solo. Because uh, there's two herds and then a couple solos here. And I want to shoot the two that's in a herd. That way it doesn't move to another area. That way I can get one more shootable here. Okay, let's see. Okay, he's in a group of two, so actually we can't shoot him. Because then it'll just create a solo cow zone here. Yeah, we literally can't get another shootable here. We're just stuck with having one shootable. Nice, East. That's awesome, dude. I still don't have a Diamond Lynx. That's something that has eluded me. My entire time playing the game. Very low? Okay, bad shots then. Let's not worry about it. Bad shots on Scarecrow's part, of course. You guys wouldn't expect anything less. Nothing less than the worst shots possible. That is what we're here for. Nice little four there.
Oh, you did, little big veteran? That's crazy. Well, glad that uh, me finding that was able to help you find yours. That's super awesome, man. That area seems like it's going to be a troublesome spot. That's why we're going to get a tent up there. You expect trick shots? Oh, well. I mean, we've done a couple trick shots. We've done a couple no scopes on great ones. That's that's basically trick shots, right? Now let's go figure out where this tent will fit best. If we can get it like up on a mountain, that'd be amazing. I don't know if we'll be able to though. This might just be a tough lake to hunt. Oh, here we go. This is actually perfect. Yeah, this is amazing. We can we can literally do it right here and then we can make this a claiming tent as well. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. Okay, so we uh smoke them like right there. Put the tent right here. I think this is actually going to work out very, very well. A lot better than I thought it would. Then we just get a tripod. Hey, Clay Drew, how's it going, man? We found a zone that has like five or six shootable moose. This little hidden lake that used to have nothing has like five moose that I can shoot now. It's, it's, it's crazy. Wild stuff happening on the, uh, the moose great one grind. <laughs> yeah, I know about, I know about that one, GBG. We'll go there in a bit. I'll probably just wait till off stream to go search that one. I want to get back to the actual grinding now that we've found, uh, where some of them went. I'm doing good, Clay. You're doing super good now that we figured out where some of our moose had gone. Alright, that's still got yeah, nothing there. Nice, Jack. Still no respawn here, though. Still nothing showing up there. What about this zone? Nice, GB Raiders, that's awesome. So far, what's the hardest uh, hunting? Um, For me, Moose has been one of the harder ones. Moose and Black Bear are tough. Yeah, that's a cool way to do it, Clay Drew. Keep a little bit of, like, randomness there. I got you. That could be a fun way to do it. Nice, GB. Hey, Diamond Red Deer, how's it going? Haven't seen one of those in a while. Probably not, Carter. It's not really my thing. I've done it in the past and just could never get into it. But what if there's a great one? We don't want to miss it. Yeah, true, Johnny. True. There's a four. Now we've got a shootable back here.
Miss to the heart. Ooh. He's going down, though. Hey, Billy, how's it going, dude? You should have seen what happened a little bit ago, Billy. We went to a lake that I had just checked a couple days ago. And it had like five or six shootable moose. Like five or six level threes and fours. <laughs> That's where all of my respawns have been going, apparently. That's why like so many of my zones started losing moose. Because they had all moved. <laughs> They were all congregating at one of the hidden lakes that I had checked a while ago. It was this lake right here. I just checked that a couple days ago and didn't have anything there. I guess they just weren't in their zone yet. It makes sense though. That lake is near a lot of the areas where I was starting to lose my uh, shootable moose. FD Chicken, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing phenomenally. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, oh my God. If you have max levels at zones you want level fours and under, do you shoot them or stack them? Uh, if you're talking about red deer, if you get diamonds in the zones that you don't want to have to hunt, then shoot them. Same with if a level 4 shows up in your favorite zones, shoot that as well. The goal is to get the 4s and below in your zones that you don't want to hunt, and then have all the shootables in your favorite zones. Alright, let's main menu. It's been a little bit since we've done it. Uh, 1300 total, Billy. There's no way I could kill that many moose in, like, what, 3 days? No way I could do that. <laughs> um, it's not about the score estimates for me, Billy. It's just about the actual rack. If it's one of the racks that can make diamond, then I then I was then I would have been stacking it back when we were. Hey Hein, it's going good, man. I mean maybe, Billy, but I'm not grinding like all day. I'm just grinding on stream and then like one or two hours late at night after I get done with everything for the day. Hmm, they refuse to pop up. That's a big boy. That's big rack. That's a big rack right there. That's 300 potential. That's a 300 potential moose. Let's go. What a beast. What a beast. Down he goes. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Don't know what that was, but it was impressive. Oh no, Clay Drew, what happened? I've heard a few people talking about weird, like, FPS stuff happening with the hotfix. Yeah, he did something, Johnny. I don't know what that was. Some type of flip? Maybe he was trying to stick a nice landing right there? Didn't work for him, but you know. He did his best. I'll give him that. He did his best. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, that's looking. Oh, it just. I love this rack. All right. All right. Get, get past your stutters. There, there we go. I haven't had it crash while doing that, but it definitely has some weird uh, glitchiness whenever you take a picture for the first time after opening your game up. Come on. Can this be a 300? 300! Woo! Let's go! Oh, that's a big moose. That's a big boot. Big moose? Big moose! That's what it is. A big moose. Oh my gosh. Well. 
You guys know how at the beginning of the stream, or shortly after the beginning of the stream, I said that I had uh, broke my record for for moose on this grind? Well, this guy broke it again. <laughs> this guy broke it. This is my biggest moose from the grind. That's crazy. 300.37. What a monster moose. Absolute monster moose. What a giant. Yeah, the reason it scores more than a great one is because the great ones don't have much palm size. Palm size is very huge in getting the score up with moose. So the great ones don't have a lot of palm size, which is why they don't really score as high as the diamonds do. Okay, those aren't here. Let's main menu. Glad we got a big diamond on the day. Let's raise the counter. 15 diamond moose. Man, diamond moose have not been popping up very fast in this grind. I've had way more trolls than anything else. Hey, Cody, how's it going, man? Hope you're doing good. Oh, oh, that's a, that's, oh, uh, it's, never mind. It's a big four. I thought that might have been a diamond wreck, but it's definitely not. It's close, though. Ah, don't turn. That, that was a perfect angle. Silly moose. What's he doing up there as well? That's a weird spot. Don't shake. His nose is in the way too. I don't know if I'm gonna make this shot. Hey Ebron, how's it going, man? Oh my gosh, we got it. We wow. Did not expect that. That reaction to realization, I know, right, Johnny? It looked big on first glance. Let's check this other zone and then we'll ATV out to grab both of them. I want to see if shooting all those has got us a respawn back in this zone. It did, Daxi. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to go check that area then. If yours had six shootables, I got to go check mine. Watch like these two hidden legs have like all of my, all of my uh, shootable moose. Oh, that would be, that'd be tragic, but hilarious. Okay, gotcha, Billy. Yeah, I've seen it happen to pretty much everybody. And I've got a theory on why. So, you guys know how in the update, in the patch notes, it said increased. All right, I got to go over here. It said increased the odds of getting a special fur type with the Great One Moose. Yet every single Great One Moose that we have seen since the update is... um. Every single one since the update has had a rare fur type, or I guess special fur type. I've got a theory that most of the ones we're seeing aren't actually supposed to be those fur types. Because they said increased, not made every single one. So I feel like maybe... Maybe they have them showing up wrong in game? And that's why they turn to a common when they're put in the lodge. Maybe they were always a common, but they were showing up differently because of the changes they made. Um... Tweaking the fur type's uh, spawn chance. Maybe it messed something up and maybe all the ones that have been shot were actually commons. Maybe it's more like, let's say, 1 in 10, 1 in 5, or 1 in 15 to get a rare fur or a special fur type. And for some reason, they're just all showing up as one. It's hard to say. Oh, you don't have to worry about it too much, Brady. I don't really have any Call of the Wild content as the extra videos on the channel. Whenever I say, like, there's extra videos with um, a membership, it's just like if I have a video that I was going to upload and then I didn't upload it for one reason or another, I'll just put it up as a member video so that somebody gets to see it since I already put the work into making it right. 
And a lot of times those videos are like, um, well, for example, one of them was a Way of the Hunter video. I think it was like the third video I ever recorded during early access. And it was hunting moose, but then by the time I got finished editing that video, so much of the stuff that I was saying in it was already out of date and didn't make sense because I had been doing live streams where I learned a lot more about them. So I was like, I'll just release it as a member video. And the same goes for a lot of the other ones. There's a few of the Hunter Classic videos as member videos. And then there is one that is a look at all the multi mounts that came with the Rancho update. Because I try not to lock like any main videos behind uh, behind memberships. It's kind of just like the extra stuff that I didn't get a chance to upload or didn't necessarily, I guess, turn out the way that I wanted it to. So it's basically like deleted scenes kind of, right? Like deleted footage, stuff that probably never would have been uploaded, but instead I uploaded for the members to see. You know how many moose you already killed in total? Around 1,300, Freezy. Give or take a few. Probably a little bit more now because we have been streaming for a little bit today. Nice, Will sounds like a fun time, man. That sounds like quite the fun time. This one came back as a small three once again. How far from 50, 85k are we? Let me check. We are at 84,429. Not gonna lie, I think we'll hit uh, 85,000 by the end of tomorrow. I think that's totally possible. Nice, King Baby, that's awesome. Congrats on that. Links made diamond, nice yeast, nice. Welcome back, Ace Point. You didn't miss too much. 90k by end of the year? It's totally possible, Johnny. I'm gonna say that we'll hit 88,000. I, I could safely say I think we'll hit 88,000 by the end of the year. I don't know if we'll hit 90, but I could definitely see 88,000 being very possible. Oh, it happens, Diamond Red Deer. Uh, no worries, dude. Should do a ray a day in the life of Crow when you hit 100k? Ah, uh, maybe. That'd be kind of tough for me to do, though. That'd be a tough thing for me to get going. I don't actually have, like, a, a good camera for recording stuff like that. Ooh. Another big four. Gosh, we are getting some big males. Ah, we messed up. Should be long, though. Whoa. You, you just gotta stop like that, man? What a rude moose. All right, Johnny. No worries, man. No worries. I've already face revealed a long time ago, Brady. The face real reveal happened like two years ago. Two fifty-five. Hey, there's those two. 
Um. Holy. Can't see any others from here, though. Uh, no, Sonaldo. We haven't got number three yet. I have no idea what those ones are. What's my favorite great one? I'd have to say the moose great one's my favorite, probably. I love the uh, way all the varieties look. All the different variations look amazing for the moose. Whitetail's a close second, though. I love the whitetail. Red deer probably third, and then uh, black bear last, just because I'm not a big fan of hunting non-antlered species to the extent that I, I do for great ones. I just can't believe so many of our moose were hiding at this lake. Crazy. Go check here. Nice arrow. That would be pretty cool. I've thought about that as well. It would be a cool thing to be able to do. I know, Braden. Those do not exist on console, really. I mean, it is possible to happen on console, but the odds are so unlikely that it really isn't too much of a worry. Uh, yeah, some fur days it is. They did push the hotfix out to console. Okay, I think we're good. Don't see anything there. Let's see if we've got a respawn back here. We definitely could. Uh, 12 to 16 ace point. Alright, let's see how much money we've lost now. Ah, we've lost another 30k. From all those time resets, man. The time resets will get you. They will get you. Yeah, it was today. They did push it out today. It's the super spiking on typical. Nice, dude. Nice. Beautiful. I love the way the new moose animations look, but my gosh, it takes forever to be able to get a clear shot sometimes. Yeah, you definitely don't, Tarantula. I'm losing money because I reset the time so much, but even if you weren't resetting as much as I do, you'd still not make much. Moose grind's a tough one. Definitely not for the faint of heart. I mean, you only get like 1,100 cash per moose. And like half of them don't show up at their zone. So if you want to be efficient, you have to reset a lot. It's a tough one. Wish they could just do something to make uh, animals more consistent whenever you reset the time. 
Would be nice if they'd be a little bit more uh, consistently in their zones on time. What are you still running for, buddy? Did I just crash? Oh, oh, nope. We're, we're back. Why is, why is he still traveling? Where is this moose going? Not gonna let you get away. Oh. Wait. Wait, what? That moose is possessed or something. That was weird. I'm not even gonna bother with him. Oh my gosh, that was strange. It's like he didn't even exist. We just shot right through him. Unless there was an invisible rock, that's possible. He didn't die. That was a strange one. What do you mean, Colton? I've, I've talked about it many times why I don't play it right now. I've just been waiting for them to put rares in the game. And now that they've put rares in the game, I'm waiting for it to be on the full build, not just the developmental experimental build, right? Because I want to be able to keep them if I do get them. Just a heads up since I've seen a lot of spam in the chat. If you repeat your message a bunch in a row, that's not going to make me want to reply to it. That's going to make me not want to re reply to it because it's just it's just obnoxious. So if you, if you want your questions answered, just say it once and I'll try to read it off. But don't spam it and don't. Gosh. <sighs> How's that so far? It's been good, Ella. It's been good. It's been an interesting one today. We've been finding a lot of uh, moose in places that we never would have expected them. ACR, how's it going, dude? Have you ran into any other diamond species other than moose during the moose grind? Uh, no, not that I know of. I don't think I've found any other diamonds. I think it's just been the diamond moose. But I really haven't been looking for other diamonds either. Oh wait, no, I did get a diamond wolf. I did get a diamond gray wolf, but that's it. I think it's YouTube, James. I think it's uh, YouTube. Ooh. Hello, you. Practically guaranteed level four. It's almost a guaranteed four. It's a 273 minimum estimate. That's a big mail. Yeah, I think the lag is on YouTube's side, guys, because um, I'm not seeing any dropped frames on Streamlabs, but... I've got the uh, I've got the stream up on my phone to watch it, and the chat keeps disconnecting for me. So I think it's a YouTube problem, and it's not happening for everybody. That's what it's really looking like. Are all types of fox difficult to hunt? Uh, for the most part, yeah. That's a diamond. 
Let's go! Diamond number 16 for the moose grind. Not a bad one. Yeah, just to have whatever music I, I want in the playlist at this point, Zane. I used to just stick to like acoustic guitar stuff, but I don't know. That's not really the type of music I listen to in like my normal time. So eventually I just mixed it up and did a bunch of different genres. So there's something for everybody. Well, we're past the stacking stage, uh, Wild Maxter. You don't stack for the entire grind. Just until you got your map to a, a point that you wanted at. Stacking is just to get the uh, mass amount of level twos. No new respawns here once again. They're here, Caden. They're just lurking at the moment. I know for a fact there's a couple of them here at least. Killed a 298 diamond moose this morning. Nice, right? Nice. Got attacked by a diamond capper, Kelly. Needless to say, that didn't last long. That is hilarious. Oh, there we go. We always get a random respawn at this lake. There's always one that pops up here every once in a while. I think it's pretty much always a three as well, which is crazy. I think you'll be fine, Allison, right? Just don't force yourself to do too much at once, right? I think it's just a matter of uh, not trying to push yourself past your limits. That goes for anything, though, really. Don't run me over, sir. Can't wait to see you get a great one, Moose. It's gonna be so cool. Definitely, William. I'm hoping that we can get another one soon. Really want to get one of those uh, special fur types onto the map so we can see it in its natural habitat. All right, nothing else there. Oh, we're hunting on Medved Tiger Berry. Little level four there. Uh, yes, albino moose do exist. They are a thing. We've killed one of them this grind. Favorite kind of Doritos? I like the uh, spicy sweet chili. So good. Spicy sweet chili Doritos are amazing. And then one that I feel is very underrated and I don't even think they make it anymore. 
was the poppin jalapeno Doritos. I feel like they just vanished off the face of the earth. I used to love those. And then they just disappeared. I, it's like impossible to find them here in Oregon now. Howdy, Brobra. How's it going, man? You'll never believe this, Brobra. I, I pretty much pulled like a Brobra type of moment here. Where, uh... We couldn't find where our, uh, where our moose were going. We couldn't figure out where they were. And... It, lo and behold! All of them were just at one lake. They were all just sitting here. Like, the only- the only place I hadn't checked recently, they were all there. It just really reminds me of something that you would end up doing, bro, bro. <laughs> just like, ah, they couldn't be there, and then that's where every single one of them is. Any signs of a great one? Well, they're not really predictable, Dylan, so it's hard to say. I ah, turned. Oh my gosh, you silly moose. <sighs> what a silly moose. What the? Ma'am, don't fly. Please. That was too high. Okay, you gotta stop zigging when you're zagging. That'd be much appreciated. No no zigging while zagging, please. Probably why we can never find any trophies on my maps when we do multiplayer challenge vids. Probably, bro, bro. To be fair, though, most of those are in multiplayer. And not on, like, your map. I think we only did one episode on your map, right? That's a big male. I think that's the one that escaped last time. Pretty sure that's the one that got away last time. Welcome back, Smoke. How's it going? I'm gonna run over there because I got a feeling that there might be a couple more over on the right side of, or not right side, like the north side of that lake. I guess technically it would be the right side if we're looking at it, but I'm just gonna say north to avoid confusion. Yep. That is indeed another moose. Another moose, a silly goose. Okay, we got it. Oh, there's another one. Uh, no, Zane, they didn't. It's fine to learn. Just in the future, don't spam. I'm much more likely to answer a question if it's just been said once and, like, it's a genuine question, right? Like, I try to answer as many questions as I can, but if I see the same one spammed a bunch, then it just makes me not want to answer it because it's... It's rude to wash out other people's comments with your own by spamming it a bunch. I think that's gonna make it. No, it's so close though. Ah. So close, man. So close to making it. 
All right, I guess we should probably check this lake up here. Let's go check that one before it hits 16. Actually, I should probably grab another 10 first. I want to be able to actually change the time when we get there. What tent do I remove, though? Maybe this one? Maybe that one? I don't know. Let's go with this one. This one's been very inconsistent. I barely ever had anything there ever since we shot the uh, last shootable there. Do a quick little double check. Go. Okay, yep. Oh, you can do it for Whitetail as well, Colin. How many tens can you place? 16 of them. How do I have so much money? Uh, 4,700 hours of playing the game with a large amount of that being grinding great ones. That is how. Hmm, let's ATV. That's a long, long walk. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 302 Moose is huge game clips. That's huge. Why is there a limit on tents? So that you can't have like 50 of them on your map. Because if you have 50, you could literally just fast travel to every single zone on the map. So they have to put limitations to make it so it's not overpowered, right? And also the performance uh, impact would be ridiculous if there was that many tents on the map. They got to go with like the limitations of what their, what their uh, graphics engine can handle. As well as making it so it's not too easy. I know, Johnny, that'd be insane. It'd be broken. I'd like that 7D. I think they should make something like a scope pack, to be honest. A scope pack would be amazing. I think that'd be really cool. And then maybe they could introduce, like, um, optics customization to where you could put, like, skins onto it. If they did an update where they dropped, like, a scope pack like scopes and sights and it also had different reticles coming with it and then they implement like a feature where you can add a skin to your scope I think that'd be a pretty sick update they could call it like the op the optics update and then they could they could use something like um we've expanded the scope of the project <laughs> or something like that <laughs> There's a lot of stuff they could do that would be, uh, pretty interesting. What is going on here? I've never been to Skull Mountain, so... Little hut right here? This has to be related to missions, right? I feel like this has to be a mission area. It just screams mission to me. Nice, 22 Fisher, that's awesome. Best spot for Whitetail in New England? Uh, the entire map. Because they are very spread out. They are, they're literally, literally everywhere. So many of them everywhere, I can't even speak properly.
You're out of summer camp. This is your home. <laughs> oh, man. That reminds me. It's been a while since I've been camping. I'll have to, uh... I'll have to get back into camping whenever spring rolls around again. Been a year or two since I've been able to go. It's like the second that, uh... The second the, s the channel started growing quite a bit. I just, uh, was never able to get back out and camp or hunt or do much fishing after then. Because I've been dedicating most of my time towards the channel and... Making content for you guys. But eventually I'm going to try and get back into doing stuff like... Hunting. More fishing. Some camping. Maybe you guys will get some IRL videos whenever that happens as well. Alright, let's get up here as far as we can so we can look down. Definitely fell blade, definitely. It would be kind of tough to go camping with a uh, one and a half year old, that's for sure. That is another reason as well. Really? Oh, it just, it just keeps. It just keeps getting better. It just keeps getting better. We just keep finding them. Th these are the solos as well. These have to be solos. Because I don't think a herd can be two males and one female. I think this is three solos in one zone. <laughs> Hit him with the one-two punch. My gosh. I'm right here, Ebron. At one of these hidden lakes right here. <laughs> near Skull Mountain. It's the hidden lake near Skull Mountain, guys. That's crazy. That is ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. Some of the places moose can be is just wild. And this is why the moose grind is so tough. Because they do stuff like this. Alright, let's figure out what the best little uh, cliff to shoot off of is. Or if I can even place the sand anywhere. Oh. Oh my gosh, yes, let's go. Then how, how do we get down here safely? Oh, actually this will be easy. I can't believe that. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if it's three solos. I think there's a good chance it is. Let's see. Yep, one, one, yep, it's three solos, so these are going to go everywhere. 153, 226, wow, can't believe they were here. Oh my gosh, Bart coming in with two super chats that are huge. Oh my gosh, on, on, let me warm up for this one. Yeet! Thank you so much, Bart. Really appreciate it. And diamond? Oh, did you get a diamond or? I'm going to assume that you got a diamond. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Absolute legend. That's... You have donated an absurdly generous amount of money today. I really appreciate all of it. Thank you so much. That is wild. That is absolutely wild. Thank you so much, uh, Bart. All right, guys. I will be right back. I think we're going to take our break. We have not took a break today. So we're going to go ahead and take a quick 20 minute break so that I can go get some food, fill up my water, and then we'll, we will be back.
Thank you guys so much. We will be back in probably 20 minutes, like I said. Feel free to go get a drink or some food while you wait. And uh, yeah, we'll be back shortly.
Hello, everybody. We're back. We are back. How's everybody doing? Now let's change the time. Um, just some of them, Bart, not all of them. I believe the hunting dog scares like birds and rabbits and like small game, but not bigger stuff like moose, deer, um, elk. Hey, Kai Kai Krabby, how's it going? Thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hi everyone, hope Scarecrow makes it. Hope I make what? Another great one? I hope so too, man. I hope we can get another one. Thank you so much for the super chat once again. Oh nice, Jacob. I've found a couple of them so far on this grind. They're pretty cool. Definitely not a common thing to find. But they're kind of cool when you do find them. It's like, oh, wow. That's something you don't see every day. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I wanted to get the ATV, not reset the time again. I'm so used to having to reset the time to get them in their zones. How good is the new muzzle loader? It's not bad. It's about the same as the other muzzle loader. Two oh six. Wait, where's the mail? There's n uh, Hmm. Let's uh, main menu and then reset the time again. I, I wonder if it went somewhere else. Maybe us killing all of these uh, at the extra lakes has screwed things up. Let's see. What about now? What's my favorite map? Uh, Tiawaroa is. Still not here. What happened to it? It has vanished into thin air. More missing moose. I know, right, Johnny? I guess it could maybe have just not respawned yet, but definitely think it should have. What's my favorite great one grind? Either the white tail or the moose. I'm liking both of them, even though the moose is kind of tough. Glad you like it, Bart. I'm glad you like it. I do my best, you know. I try my best. All right, I'll be right back, guys. Need to real quickly just uh, turn on the AC real quickly. My PC has burned this room down, I swear. It's like typically it's fine for the first couple hours and then it starts to get hot in here.
Hey, nothing there? You know, I'm wondering if all the respawns are going to be in the southern part of the map. That's very possible. Since that's where we shot most of those uh, random stragglers that showed up at the Hidden Lakes. Most of them are down like more south. Maybe that's where all of our respawns are going to be. Um, I can't do any songs that are copyrighted, Zane. I just have a uh, copyright free playlist that I've made and used for my streams. Because with YouTube, I gotta watch out for copyright stuff. Aren't I like the quadru the quadruple paddle? Ah, it just doesn't look impressive to me. Like when I think of a, a great one moose, I'm thinking of like the giant non-typicals or a, a typical that's just absurdly huge. That's why that uh, that quad paddle is my least favorite. It, it just doesn't look special enough to me. It looks like a level 4 moose that has a couple extra like small paddles off the bottoms of them. What's my favorite scope? I'd say at this point it's probably the Argus. It used to be the Hyperion, but... I've been liking the Argus much more recently. Um, Kai Kai Krabby, thank you so much for the super sticker. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Random level four. All right, Johnny, later. No worries. Keep forgetting, I don't need to jump down to grab an ATV anymore. I can just fast travel. Now let's do a quick scan over there. See if any of our solos have gone over here. I don't think so. Looks like we're good. Have you ever noticed how Must Deer and Roe Deer have the exact same piebald pattern? Yeah, they do. And they look pretty good. Gotta say, one of my favorite piebalds. Uh, problem is, Rosie, if I played with one person, then I'd have to play with everybody. If I, if I said yes to playing with somebody, then everybody would be asking me to play with them. So unfortunately, I can't really do that. But if you see me in multiplayer, feel free to, you know, tag along. What's my favorite reserve? Uh, Tiawaroa. Hey, we're gonna have to do a quick reset. Is it possible to kill an albino goose? No, unfortunately it is not. There is no albino goose in the game, sadly. That'd be cool though. Nice, M4 main. Random bear, okay. That bear wants to be a part of everything I see. Okay, that is all the cows. Where's the males? 
Where have our males gone? Where did they end up going? I'm telling you, these male moose are so weird. Did they go to the end here? Female? All females. Maybe down here? It certainly feels like that, Stephanie. It certainly feels like it. I mean, all of them were solo moose, I feel, so... I think they probably... If I were to take a guess, they probably are just in new areas. They probably randomly went to different parts of the map, like the solos typically do. I just thought they would go to one of the lakes in the area, but I guess not. Well, hello there, little Capper Cali. I love having the Capper Callies and the wolves here. How many beginner series episodes do I think I'll do? I'm going to go until I hit level 60, I think. If I can possibly keep it going that long, I will. Hey. Shush. Do not alert the moose to my presence. That is my job. Well, they definitely didn't go down here. What about here? What map is this again? Medved Taiga. I think y'all are right. The UFOs are definitely taking our moose. 100%. They're just disappearing into thin air. Definitely being smoked by the aliens. 100%. <laughs> you know, maybe we need a full game reset. Instead of just a main menu. Sometimes I have those work better than main menus. Let's just quit and then open it back up. Uh, Zane, thank you so much for becoming a member. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The, uh emotes, the extra content on the channel, and the extra Discord channels. Really appreciate it. Oh, it feels bad, Clay Drew. What's my dream trophy? Diamond Melanistic Red Deer, which is something I'll probably never get. <laughs> it's my dream trophy, but I'll probably never get one. You are indeed, Zane. You are indeed. Still nothing there. I'm thinking now that we've smoked all of those uh, solos, we're probably going to have to go through a lot of areas again and just figure out where they've gone to. How's it going, Gina? Dream Trophy IRL? Uh, just any red deer, really. If I could take down a red stag IRL, that would be great, but 
There's no places that are like close to Oregon where I could get red deer, so. I knew it! I knew the stragglers were start spreading out again. Of course, of course, they're gonna start spreading out again. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be tough. This is about to be really tough. Uh, let's reset the time again. Let's try to get that other herd back because that solo moose there has two others with it normally. Actually, since I shot it, might not show up again. These solo moose are going to be the biggest problem on this grind. I feel like they're just going to congregate in the areas I check the least. Because it really seems like the solos just go to a random place on the map, like not even near the area where you killed them. Nothing there. Now let's see if the uh, bull is back in this herd. How many hours have I played this game? Big time, how many hours you have slept this week? I wait. Not gonna lie, I think I've played the game more this week than I've slept this week. I think I actually have, Bart. But that's not really a. Uh, not really a comparison that can really be made as this is like a job for me. So that's a big boy. That's a big boy right there. Finally, he showed up and it's a diamond potential. Could could be a troll, but diamond potential at the minimum. Oh, it was Billy. Seems about right. YouTube's been weird today. YouTube has been super, super weird. Um, we got anything back here? We're gonna have to start uh, searching around more. Got some weirdness going on with our herds. Hey, Elements, how's it going? I don't really have room for a dog at the moment, Eric. Diamond? Maybe. It could be diamond. It's got that look to it. This would be diamond number three of the day if it is. Wow, 286. That's pretty big, not gonna lie. That's not bad for this rack. We'll tax this one. That's actually a solid moose. It's a good looking one. Not too bad. Let's raise the diamond count to 17. Yeah, me too, Billy. It's a good looking rack. Let's do one reset here. I need to see what else is in this area. Um, I like them both, Noah, but I, I'm more... I'd say I'd lean more towards cats just because they're easier to take care of and they're also, in my opinion, cuddlier. But 
But I've grown up around dogs and cats, so... I've been around a fair share of both. Just always preferred cats. Yep, exactly, Will. That's one of the big things for me is I I can't stand the smell of dogs, so that's one of the big things that makes me not really lean towards dogs over cats. I can't stand the, the dog smell. I like dogs, but like I can't be around them for too long before the smell just makes me nauseous. I don't know what it is. For most, for like 99% of people, the smell doesn't bug them, but for some reason it does for me. All right, let's check this lake over here. It's been a bit since we have. And then another thing is like, I've got, I've had like, uh, we've had bad experiences with our last dog because he was just too big and we couldn't get a place to live very easily because of it. Most places around Oregon don't allow big dogs and it was really difficult to do it. We had to get rid of our dog eventually because of um, our daughter. We didn't want her getting like trampled by him because he was always very, uh, what's the word? Like very in everybody's face. He always wanted attention, always jumping on everybody. And because we lived in a very small apartment at the time and we had a baby on the way, unfortunately we weren't able to keep him. So we had to give him to somebody else, but he was a, uh, he was a New Newfoundland and, or is it Newfoundland? Newfoundland or Newfoundland mixed with a uh, black lab. And so he was very energetic and unfortunately we just couldn't give him the amount of like playtime that he needed. Between me being busy with YouTube stuff and, you know, my wife being pregnant at the time, it was like, well, we don't really have room to have a dog right now. But we did have a dog for like the first year that I was doing uh, YouTube. Some of you may remember him in the videos. He was in a couple of the videos. When I when I did some face cam videos. Hey Adam, how's it going man? Y you made it before the end of the stream this time. How's it going? Nice, hey, gee, that's awesome. My sister has a uh, a couple German Shepherds. She's got a uh, German Shepherd, and then she also has a black German Shepherd, which are so beautiful, man. They're so beautiful. And then she also has an Australian Shepherd. Oh, you watched like four hours yesterday? I guess, I guess, wait, yesterday. I didn't stream yesterday, Adam. Are you talking about the day before? They are saying Australian Shepherds are amazing. Such cool dogs. Yeah, German Shepherds are great, John. Super loyal dogs as well. What guns do I use? I use the 300 Magnum right now. Right now, I'm just using double 300 Magnum. Oh, that's not good, Arrow. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. 
Oh no, Caden, that's that's not gonna be fun. That's a that's a big update to do. I mean, technically, I guess that would be a full download. Yikes. That's new. Are both of these new? No, that's gotta be an old one. That's new though. That's our respawn there. Stop zigging and zagging, man. There we go. Okay, he's going down. Uh, yeah, Luxury, it is. Typically, the ammo with the highest penetration is the one that the majority of people go with. Because uh, it's more reliably going to reach the vitals of the animal. There'll be less worry about whether or not you're going to hit vitals. How do you do herd management for moose? Uh, leave the twos and ones, shoot the threes, fours, and fives, or you can stack the fives if you want to get the twos quicker. That's essentially the quick rundown. Caden, thank you so much for becoming a member. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, the access to extra discord channels in the discord and extra content on the channel really appreciate it dude only one moose here it's going to happen. All the random solos are going to go to different areas now. No. Oh, I had a bad feeling this would happen. It's going pretty good, Chase. We found some uh, moose that had been hiding from us. But now we have no idea where their respawns have gone, so... Kind of back to square one in a way. That's a new three, so that's where one of them went. That's new. Uh, not sure, KC. I'm probably not going to take too much of a break today. What time are you wanting to go? Like 7, 7.30, 8? When you thinking? Ah. That actually might be one we leave. Yeah, we'll leave all those. Oh, I'm used to it, Casey. I've always done this. It's also probably partially my chair. My old chair wouldn't have allowed me to do it, but this one I can sit for... Just an entire day and be fine. Seven-ish? Okay, I'll probably hop off in like an hour and a half then. Give myself like 30... 30 minutes or so. What chair? Um, I have a Secret Lab chair. Secret Lab's gotta be like the best quality gaming chairs I've ever used. So good. They're a bit pricey, but... They will last you like a lifetime. They're so good. Highly recommend. It's the most comfortable gaming chair I've ever had. 
I think I've got the Secret Lab Omega. If I'm not mistaken. It's really good. Uh, yeah, it's super comfortable, Casey. It's super, super comfortable. Uh, Rosie, we don't talk about religion here. It's a very controversial topic amongst a lot of people, so we try not to talk about it, so... Would really appreciate if you'd quit spamming that. We try to keep religion and politics out of the stream as much as we can. Okay, see, we had something wild happen. I had checked out all the secret lakes, like, tons of times, right? I guess that they were just never at their zone because, uh... I found six shootable moose here. Six of them at this zone, and two more shootable moose up here. A total of, like, eight level threes and big fours, including two fours that were almost diamond just in these two lakes and like I I've checked them so many times and there was nothing there I guess they were just not at their zone this moose grind is a weird one like now because of that we're having to go through all of our zones again just to figure out where all of those solos went because every single one of those eight was a solo moose like I don't know where they are gonna go so we're gonna have to keep going over the entire map which is it's rough. I thought we were getting to a point where we could be pretty consistent with where we got to go, but nope, still got to cover the whole map. Moose grind is wild. You got another albino. How are you, how are you doing that, Casey? Y you nerd? I can't get the uh, rares for the life of me. I think I've got three piebalds. A Mela and an Albino. Like, I want more Albinos, but I just can't get them. The Albinos have eluded me. It's been just pretty much piebalds. Besides the, uh, the first Mela. Yeah, it was still pretty crazy, Billy. Can't believe that you had it right next to- Oh. That's a new zone. But it was- we saw that three, though. It was a small three. Oh, okay. Yes, I agree, Billy. Uh, albino looks way better than Albino for sure. I agree with that. I'm assuming you meant Mela. Three Mela, two Albino, one Piebald. That is insane, Casey. That's like the exact opposite of what I would expect. I would expect it to be like a bunch of Piebalds and then maybe one or two Mela and Albino. That's how it's been for me. It's been a lot of Piebalds. The one super rare and then a random level four Albino that we got yesterday. That's a big boy. You know, even though it's been annoying trying to keep up with all of these moose that are moving around all the time, I, we're definitely starting to get more fives showing up. So I think we're starting to get more of our... Well, that's not a five, that's just a big four. Oh my gosh, that second shot might have been a hard shot. Hey, JJ, how's it going, man? Call the whale took away your purple great ones. 
Gosh, freaking call of the wild. Taking away the purple great ones. Let me guess, they're taking away your pink lions next? Gosh. I uh, know, Drawn. I don't really get a chance to check out many of the, like, trophies in the Discord. I'm just too busy with, like, recording and editing and spending time with my family and things like that that I don't really go through the Discord too much. I, I go through there occasionally, but it's not super often. And, oh, that's not the diamond rack. The diamond rack and then this one look very similar. There's a diamond rack that looks very similar. Your Mella Beaver is gone, what should you do? Um, obviously, like, uh, type up a mean message on Reddit, duh. Obviously. I, I thought that was a given. Um, I did a lodge tour recently, Bart. I did a lodge tour like a month ago. Guys, we just surpassed 84,500 subscribers, less than 500 away from 85k. That is ridiculous. Thank you all so much for getting us this far. I can't believe that we're going to hit 85k, like, just barely halfway into December. That is insane. That is insane. Great one, Beaver, next. Hopefully. I'll tell you what, Grant, if you had quit spamming, I'd probably answer you, but you keep spamming, so I'm not going to answer you. Breaking the rules in chat is not a good way to get an answer from somebody. Got my third trophy of the grind yesterday. Was an albino max weight estimate level four. Nice, Polaris. That's awesome. That is super awesome. All right, so where do you guys think these solos have moved to? I'm kind of thinking that they're going to be throughout here. I got a feeling that that's where they've gone. We could try going back over here and checking, but... You know, I think we'll do a few runs just through the normal zones, and then we'll check for stragglers again. Uh, yeah, we checked the big lake. There's one. Holy. You know, let's reset the time. Let's try to get this other group here as well. I want to see how many are in this zone. They definitely moved out of the map. Wouldn't doubt it. Okay, where's this herd? That herd's being very weird. Let's try a uh, time resetting again. I know there's a herd here because we see them every single run. There they are, but no respawn. There's two instead of three. Did the respawn just go over there? Is that just where it went? I guess it's possible, but it's weird. We got weird stuff going on. Ever since we killed off all those ones at the Hidden Lakes. Um, it depends. Milo, if you want to grind uh, Medved, then get Medved. If you like Revon Tuli, then grind Revon Tuli. Both are going to be pretty much the same for Moose. With Moose, it's going to be a tough grind regardless of where you go, so might as well just pick whichever map you think you're going to have the most fun on. Two fifty-two. That's a solid Moose. 
At least the quality of the moose is getting higher. Starting to see more and more big males. Little level three there. You know, let's check back here. Nothing, okay. Kinda figured, but worth a check. Now let's check this zone over here. Red Deer go up to level 9, Aiden. At some point, Lambie. It's not going to be for a while, though. Can you get a great one moose on starter map? Yes, you can. Layton is actually pretty good for moose. Uh, no, Cade, we haven't. Have not found a great one this stream. Uh, yeah, Rambo Gamer, I do. I haven't been able to hunt IRL for about six years, though. They can go in a lot of different places, uh, Shark Mantis. They don't always go back to the same place you shot them. Sometimes they can join other zones. Sometimes they can create brand new zones. They can be very unpredictable. You know what? We might smoke this male that's here. We've spawned a couple more small ones, so we can take out one of them, I think, and be fine. We'll take out one, too. I don't think it'll hurt. I just want to get another shootable at this lake, since the other one disappeared out of nowhere. Uh, depends, Zolarna. They can be wherever. It's the same thing as what I just mentioned. No matter what the species is, they don't always respawn in the same spot. What the? Sometimes they will show up in completely new zones. Sometimes they'll join other zones. And there's really no way to predict it. They sometimes just do stuff randomly. Moose do it a lot more often, though. They very commonly will not go to the same place. I have just over 13 million, Rosie. I had 14 million at the beginning of the uh, moose grind, though, and then we spent it all on time resets. Uh, no, JJ, I can't say I have. I play on PC, Rambo. Nice, Gavin. That's awesome, man.
Great one, caribou. That would look pretty crazy. Oh, you had mountain lion. Got you. That that makes more sense. <laughs> I was confused for a second. I was like, ah, uh, okay, yeah, mountain lion makes sense. Um, yes, uh, the wild pigs can get albino. Level one moose, zero to 53 score. That is amazing, Lucas. That right there, that's a, that's a true trophy. Do I like the new map? Yeah, I like the new map a lot. I'd say it's probably number five for me. Probably my fifth favorite. Got a lot of cool things about it. Definitely not a good grinding map, but it's got some pretty awesome hunting for small game and waterfowl. So I do like it a decent bit. I think it's a solid map. Okay, no new random stragglers here. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, oh my God. RTP, thank you for the super sticker. Much appreciated, dude. Ooh, that's another 300 rack. Let's go. Another 300 rack and a four here. That's a big male. That's a big male. <laughs> That is the second 300 rack of the day. Nice, we got them both. Oh, definitely a troll, definitely. I think so, Hermosa. That's my pick for the next one. I'd like to see Fallow Deer or Blacktail as the next one. If they're gonna do their whole like sticking to base maps thing, I hope it's Fallow, Blacktail, or Roosevelt's. Or Roe Deer. I wouldn't mind Roe Deer. But uh, I, I feel like it is very likely to be a Fallow. Trap Dog, thank you for the super chat. Big male. That is a big male for sure, dude. The biggest of the males. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, oh my God. Let's see what this one will score. Will this be our new record? Our current record is like 300.47, I believe, for this grind. Ah, 300.01, another 300 scoring moose. Max weight as well. Holy. That is awesome. We've been getting lucky with the moose diamonds today. I think things are finally turning around for us. We're finally getting the diamond moose, and we're finally getting the big diamond moose. That is amazing. Love to see it. That is a beast right there, guys. That is a beast. Will my duck aim ever be fixed? I don't know, but the moose grind has made it definitely get better. Having to go for all these hard shots has definitely helped. Uh, Parker, thank you for the super chat. Just waiting for you to spot that fabled birch big rat great one. Oh, I know. That would be incredible. That would be so incredible if we could. Thank you for the super chat once again. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, 
Oh my god! Uh, let's do a main menu real quick. It's been a while since we did. How long does it take for animals to respawn? Nobody really knows the true answer to that. It could be instantaneous. Most likely it is. The second that you pick one up, it probably respawns, but nobody really knows for sure. Except for probably cheaters. I'm sure cheaters know. I'm using the 300 Magnum Rider. Uh, that's pretty normal, Sean. Most likely, some of your respawns are going to different areas. A lot of times, the respawns will go to different parts of the map than where you shot them. So it's good to just check everything. Uh, yeah, Rambo, I've got two albino moose. One from this grind and one from like a year ago. Maybe RTP, it's hard to say, but I've had some show up like literally right as I was claiming the others before. So I don't know. I've had situations with red deer where I killed so many in a lake that by the time I finished claiming them all, some of the respawns had already got back to the zone. Oh, you definitely have more than Sean. 45 is not enough. There's there's definitely more zones. I believe most people have around 60 to 75 whitetail zones on Rev and uh, Leighton Lakes. So if you've only got 45, you're definitely missing some. There's a respawn. Getting some of them back here. Um, I don't really have too many tips for you on that, Peyton. I haven't grinded New England much. Oh, no worries, Caitlin. No worries. I played it briefly, Firebird, when it first released uh, earlier today. I hopped on there for like 20 minutes, caught a couple Atlantic Salmon, and then uh, went to bed. Because for me, it releases at like 2.30 in the morning. So I just jumped on there briefly and then hopped off. But uh, the new map for Angler looks pretty nice. It looks pretty good. Definitely going to be a stream on it eventually. Not sure when, but I will get to a, an angler stream at some point. Trev Dog, thank you so much for the super chat. Should do a moose and quail multi with a great one. I would, but I don't have a male quail taxidermized currently. That's the only reason I haven't done it. Is I, I need to get a good male quail first. If I could get a rare or a diamond, then I would definitely do the multi mount. But they have evaded me so far. Gapper Cali.
You know, this one's gonna take too long to find. Let's go up here. Uh, yeah, Firebird it is. It is indeed pretty cold here right now. Thank you, Zyphon. Merry Christmas to you as well. Just this solo female again. Where have all of these gone? Smoke those pheasants, Clay Drew. You know you want to. Oh, definitely, JJ. Me, me too. I'd love those. Th those great ones would be phenomenal. Alright, looks like there's no male moose here. Where could they have possibly gone? These moose are throwing us for a loop, man. I mean, we could just continue hammering these few zones. Welcome back, Johnny. There's that one. And that zone's gone, so I guess it was the one from here just randomly went over there. So weird. So strange, man. Moose respawns are so weird. They do stuff I've never seen with other species. Uh, yeah, Dippers, there's actually about 10 or 15 that I'm missing the diamond for. Primarily species that I don't hunt very often. I'm doing good, Elmo. Doing good. Uh, no, Bart. The only maps that are free is Layton and Hirsch. The others do cost money. Have you downloaded the most recent update, Nash? Because that's supposed to have fixed all the crashing issues. So they're just gonna be stubborn. I see how it is. I see how it is, man. You know, let's loop through these. That that'll probably be a good place to go through. Uh, yes, Adam. I've had a few of the flying moose. They are quite elusive and wild. Holy Justin. Thank you for the massive super chat, dude. Much appreciated. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too, man. Thank you so much for that. Absolute legend as always. My gosh, man. That's crazy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Man, if we don't get a great one today, I'm going to be disappointed that I didn't get you guys a great one. I 
Have I got any more great ones since last time? No, Elmo. We've only had the two. Uh, number three has yet to show up in about, like, I think it's been three days since we got our last one. Maybe even four. Yeah, it's been a few days since we got a great one to show up. Yeah, probably, Kathy. Um, some of the zones for Whitetail moved around Mason, but I don't think it was intentional. I think it was a bug, from what I can tell. JJ. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Uh, I don't... Uh, I don't know if I can handle this today. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Oh my gosh. You guys are, you guys are insane. My gosh. Thank you so much. That is crazy. Thank you so much. Yeah, you guys can probably hear Aaliyah as well. She's, uh, she's giggling back in the background. Bree's tickling her belly, so she's giggling like crazy. The patch specifically nerfed Crow? It definitely did. They, they were trying to get me. Jeez. Crazy, man. Oh, my voice is always dead, Elmo. My voice is always dead from like uh, five hour streams of chatting and spotting big trophies and super chats and stuff like my voice is never normal nowadays. <laughs> Jeez. I know just <laughs> like uh, it kills my voice. Great ones and big donations ruin my voice. I've been drinking a ton of water as well. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you to everybody that supports the stream. Really appreciate it. And the Mellow Diamond Moose. Oh yeah, I my voice had no no uh there was nothing left after that one. Like, my, my throat genuinely hurt for the rest of the day after we spotted that. I think it's faster to fast travel here and then run, right? Um, you can't, Trex. You have to count them individually. Exactly, Jacob. <laughs> Definitely. Call the Wild be doing that sometimes. That one really killed it. It did, like, man. That, that's super rare. That was by far the most excited I think I've ever been to see anything in Call the Wild. Like, Call of the Wild, there's been a lot of trophies that I was excited to spot, but that super rare was just unlike anything else. Because the second I spotted it, I immediately knew it was Mela. I could just see it was so much darker than the others. And I saw the giant antlers on it, and I didn't even look at the score estimate until after I freaked out a little bit. Yeah, Jacob, probably, probably. Great ones will do that to you. It's exciting when you spot them. Especially if you've been uh, grinding for it for a long time. Best way to level up in Call of the Wild? 
Uh, do missions, shoot everything that you see. Those are a couple of the things that you can do to try and get leveled up quicker. Don't see anything here. Let's head down here. Uh, not today, Duck. The only thing we've got today is a couple 300 scoring diamonds and a, uh, a little piebald. Little level 3 piebald. Also, guys, just a heads up. At about 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so an hour and 19 minutes from now, I'm going to be doing a live stream with Kill Clinton playing, um, Marauders. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Oh my... <laughs> oh my god... Oh my gosh... I... I'm speechless, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. JJ and Bart, thank you guys so much. Oh my gosh. Here you go, man, for being so honest, nice, and just great. You do this for a living, and I want to support it. Plus, you have a family to feed. Love you, brother. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much, JJ. Much love to you as well, man. This is... like. <laughs> I, I can't even begin to thank you as much as I'd like to. That's just, that's crazy, man. What, what just hit me? Oh! Capper Cali? What? Oh my gosh! I take two seconds to like read off some donations and be, be grateful for everything and I get charged by a Capper Cali. What are you doing? This is, no. No, 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 this is not, no, don't you run for me. <laughs> oh my gosh again thank you so much JJ and Bart thank you so much as well you guys are way too generous like oh my gosh and oh my gosh just, <laughs> Justin and baby pumpkin guys oh my gosh baby pumpkin thank you for the super chat find anything just got done with errands wrapping presents everyone making hashtag great one a thing we got this we'll get another great one i promise we'll get another great one thank you so much and justin thank you so much as well dude can't match your jj got christmas to get but i will match your 100 good man much deserved bro much deserved thank you so much justin thank you so much to everybody this is ridiculous I, <laughs> this is, oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. And to get attacked by a Capricali right as it's happening, <laughs> even better. The Capricalis are hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh. Parker, thank you for a super chat as well. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is as much as my parents will let me give. I know it's not as much as the past few, but here you go. Thank you regardless, Parker. I appreciate everything. It doesn't matter how much it is. You know, everything helps. And everybody that's here, regardless of whether or not you donate or not, it also is supporting the stream. Just being here, liking the videos, commenting on the videos, it all helps an absolute ton. You don't have to donate, but I do appreciate every donation that comes through. Thank you all so much. You guys are honestly making this uh, to be like one of the greatest Christmases ever. I'm making sure my whole family gets 
get some some really amazing stuff. All because you guys have made it possible for me. Thank you all so much. Thank you all so much. My gosh. I really just don't know what to say. My face actually kind of hurts right now. So. <laughs> Jeez. Semi-pro junior fishing tourneys. Oh, that makes sense, JJ. I kind of figured based on the name that you probably did something along the lines of that. That is awesome, man. Good luck with that also. I hope it goes uh, super well for you. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, oh my gosh. Hey, don't worry about it, none. Just being here is support. Like I've said, just being here in the streams, it is a huge amount of support. Baby Pumpkin, thank you so much for a super chat as well. My gosh, guys. What is happening? Thank you all. And thank you so much, Baby Pumpkin. I'll make it better. Oh my gosh. Whew. Thank you. Thank you so much. Holy. Man. That is crazy. Gosh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, that's right. I've, I I completely blanked out on what I was saying before. Um, We're going to be doing a second stream tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, me and Kill Clinton are going to be playing Marauders. It's a uh, survival type of game. Definitely recommend coming, ch coming and checking it out if you guys haven't already. It's a very fun game. And it's pretty entertaining to watch, even if you're normally just here for Call of the Wild. I recommend at least uh, giving Marauders a shot. It can be a fun time. They just recently had a pretty big update, so we're going to get back into it and uh, try to have some fun raids. It's very similar to Escape from Tarkov, except less hardcore, but same uh, premise, right? It's a pretty fun game. I'm excited to get back into it tonight. Sean, thank you so much for becoming a member, dude. You are our 509th member. Guys, that's just ridiculous to think we're over 500 members now. I know quite a few of them are gifted memberships, but still, that's insane. Holy. Enjoy all the stuff that comes with that, Sean. It's uh, got the special emotes, the extra Discord channels in Discord, and also some extra videos here on the channel. Really appreciated it. R appreciate it. I can't speak now. It it's official. I can't speak the rest of the night. Yeah, exactly, Kathy. Exactly. I think Ebron gifted like 130 to 140. Like somewhere in that range. Maybe a little bit more even. Whew. Oh my gosh. Is the Diamond Spear Bear a super rare? No, but it's close. It is close, but it's not quite a super rare. Oh my gosh, double. <laughs> Thank you for a super chat as well. Merry Christmas. Thanks for all the best content. Hey, no problem, man. My pleasure. I enjoy doing it. I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't be doing YouTube for a living if I didn't enjoy it. So it is my pleasure, man. Thank you so much for the support and Merry Christmas to you as well. I do my best, Fellblade. I do my best. When I'm not working, that's exactly what I'm doing. Thank you, Duck. Gosh, you guys are going to make me cry. Like, I don't... <laughs> Y'all are being too nice to me. Honestly, the only thing that could make this a crazier day is if we spot a great one. My gosh. Um, in about 40 minutes, unknown. About 40 minutes. We're going to be hopping off at 6.30 and then I got another stream at 7. Yeah, Colt, it's been tough. Like, uh... The moose grind has actually been very tough. It's been one of those grinds where even when I think I've got everything in order, 
something happens and it makes me have to search the entire map again. This is just a tough, lengthy grind. But to be honest, I'm lucky to even have two moose great ones. Like, most people have barely even got their first. So I am very lucky to have two of them. Oh. <laughs> yes, oh my Baby Pumpkin, thank you for another super chat. You're just that amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys are pretty amazing as well, I gotta say. Thank you so much. How many hours played total? 4,700, uh, YouTube Junkie. Plus about 300 on uh, my other Call of the Wild account that I use for like the beginner series and stuff like that. Yeah, how close are we to 85k? Let me check. We're at 84,542. We got about 458 subs to go before we're at 85k. That is ridiculous. My goal for the end of the year was 75k, guys. The fact that we're almost at 85k already blows my mind. I never thought that would be possible. Jacob, thank you so much for the super chat. What's the best way to grind the great one? Merry Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas to you too, dude. And I believe... Well, to be honest... Great ones are pretty much the same rarity regardless of how you grind, but I've seen herd management get them slightly faster. Not by a lot, but by a, enough to make it worth it, I'd say. So if you want to do herd management, that's probably going to be your best way to get a great one, but it's not the only way. You can definitely get one by just shooting everything. Um, hold on, let me scroll back up. Sean, thank you so much for the super chat as well, dude. Happy holidays, happy holidays to you as well, man. Y'all are just too nice. Hopefully 150k by the end of next year. I think that's possible. I'd say that's possible. At least 130k by the end of 2023. Alright, later, Ebron. Thank you for being here, dude. Thank you for being here for the stream. All right, so we looped around there and didn't really find too much. I wonder if there's some through here and maybe here. Oh, we haven't checked this lake. We haven't checked that one since we shot everything. Weird looking whitetail and it was like spotty. Is it rare or anything? Was it a piebald uh, Valku? Or is it Valko? Uh, regardless, uh, was it a piebald possibly? Whitetail that have like patchiness or typically piebald? And that would be a rare. If that's what you got, that would be a rare. And rares are one of the harder things to get in the game. It was piebald? Yeah, then yes, that is a rare. That is a uh, special deer for sure. It's possible, none. It's very possible. To be honest, I think we'll hit 100k by June or before June. Because June is when the next map will release. They always do maps every six months. And typically that's when the most people join the channel. Uh, sadly, no 7D. There is no great one mule deer. But maybe one of these days. I really hope they'll eventually add one. It is one that I've wanted for a very long time. Would love to see them add one. Ty, thank you for the super chat as well, man. This is ridiculous. What is going on? What is going on? Thank you so much, Ty. My gosh, man. Merry Christmas to you as well. Holy. That is just ridiculous. That is insane. Your insanity. All right, later, duck. Thank you for being here, dude. You know, I'd say our alert for the donos is definitely appropriate for today.
Holy. Cannot believe we hit that hard shot. That one was kind of far away. Surprised we sunk it into the heart there. We've been getting better at the hard shots. Not missing as many of them as I used to. Is a Mellow White Tail 235 a super rare? No, but it's close. That's a good, um, wait, 235. No, that wouldn't be a super rare. But it is a, a, a good one regardless. A super rare is a diamond with a rare fur type, so... If it's not diamond, then it's not a super rare. But that's still a good one. That's better than any of my melanistic whitetail. Jacob, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Thanks for the tips. Hopefully get your first great one. I hope you do too, man. Biggest thing with the great one grinding is just don't burn yourself out, you know? Don't grind too much at once. If you need to take a break, don't be afraid to take a break. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, oh my god. Anything through here? I don't think that one's new. Nah, because we had one level three here. Not new then. Uh, yeah, Call of the Wild had a uh, hot fix today, Brad, to kind of fix some of the bugs that were happening with the game. Uh, yeah, Frost, they can. All maps can have them. With the great one, it's never, like, map-specific for some of the, like, fur types and stuff. It's always a situation where you can get it on any of the maps. No, there's not beavers in the game. Does your tent affect spawns? Um, it can prevent them from rendering in if you're too close, but it's not gonna actually spook them away. Um, I don't watch sports, Lando. If I could add any species, what would I add? I would add the Pure David's Deer. They are super unique and cool looking. Pretty crazy looking as well. Got him. No, Jarius, there's not. There's no beavers in the game. Hopefully I said your name right also. Yeah, I know, right, Liam? I think there's, that's just their way of being funny, saying, like, uh, your tent had to be removed so that it wouldn't get deleted. Because that's essentially what the system is, is to prevent you from losing the tent, and so it just tells you a beaver did it. Thank you, Damien. Hope you've been enjoying the content so far. Still no respawn there. That's been a weird zone. It just lost its fourth uh, moose one day and it's never returned. Crazy. Uh, yeah, hunting with Sace. We got, a, uh, we got a few good trophies. Two 300 plus scoring diamond moose. And then, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, that's right. We, sh we shot one here. 
had me had me tripping out there for a second. I was like, wait, did it finally come back? No, we just we just shot the other one. Uh, if you're talking about the newest album, Justin, yeah, I listened to it. I liked quite a bit of the songs on there. Don Tolliver uh, stole the show, though. Don Tolliver's just too good. Love his voice. Bard, thank you so much for the super chat again, man. My gosh, you are just too generous. Remember me? How could I forget you, man? You've been dropping some ridiculously big donations this entire stream. Of course I remember you. Thank you so much once again. Crazy. Thank you, Logan. I hope you enjoy the content, man. How'd I get the idea of the name Scarecrow? I looked at a crow and he got scared, so I was like, Scarecrow. Not really, but that's what I tell people. It's just kind of what I always called myself before I did YouTube. You know how everybody, like, when they're a kid, you're thinking of, and like even like a late teenager, you're always thinking of like a cool name for when you're playing online. That, that was the name that I came up with. Just because I noticed a lot of people didn't use it. And I thought it sounded decently cool enough, and so I just went with it. Crow got scared of himself? Definitely. I scared the crow, and the crow scared me. And that's, that's where we be. Oh really, Justin? That explains your uh that explains your Discord name then. Yeah, I've gone through a few different names. Um My first one This was back when I was a big fan of uh the NFL. My very first name here on YouTube was Patriots Fan 141. Because uh I was super into football at the time. And the Patriots were my favorite team. And so that's what I named it. And then eventually I was like, nah, I don't I don't watch football anymore. So why would I keep this name? And so I changed it to, um, I think it was like headshots only or heart shots only or something like that. And that didn't really stick. And so I changed it once again to Scarecrow. And then Scarecrow is kind of where we uh, left it. A long, long time ago, back when I was like... 15 or 16 but Actually, this was after this was after the Patriots fan one. I think I went Patriots fan then I went to fate 338 L Because that was like uh, It was like the Call of Duty uh, clan tag that I had for a while with a couple of my friends And so we were all like in the the fate clan, you know a little bit of a phase knockoff <laughs> and uh Mine was 338L, cause like 338 Lapua. And then we went to the, then I went to the hard shots only. And then finally to Scarecrow and then like for the last five years I've used Scarecrow for like everything. I mean I'll play them for as long as I can, Kathy. Even if I wasn't doing YouTube, I'd still play games because I enjoy them. Best cartridge ever produced is 338. Don't even try and change my mind. It is a good one. It is a good one for sure.
We have any others here? Yeah, the members count breaks every once in a while, guys. That's pretty normal. Just Streamlabs stuff. Streamlabs is, uh, weird. From grinds just like this, Luke. The moose grind isn't very, uh, lucrative cash-wise, but Red Deer and Whitetail have padded the bank account quite nicely. Yeah, my two rifles are a uh, 270 and also a uh, 7 mil Remington Magnum. Those are the two rifles that I've got for hunting. And I've also got a 223 AR. Well, it's 223 and 556, but same thing. This is pretty normal, Caden. We do five-hour streams quite often. Nah, Johnny, you totally shoot 700 Nitro Express. I can see it. <laughs> 950? Oh, definitely. Definitely the 950. Obviously. Who wouldn't use a 950? I like the 270, Justin. I like it. No respawn. Okay, okay. Silly little moose. Oh, and Call of the Wild. Yeah, Call of the Wild's 270 is pretty meh. It's not bad, but it's not great either. I thought we were still talking about, like, IRL calibers. In IRL, I like the 270. Where will our straggler solos be? I'm calling it right now. We're gonna have a bunch like go to the top of the map again. I bet we'll have a ton just randomly show up at the top of the map. Because that's the area that we've hunted the least recently. Oh, hey there. They love to hide. They love to hide. Uh, yeah, we're going to be playing with KC tonight, Liam. We're going to be doing a Marauder stream with Kill Clinton. Should be fun. We've been wanting to get back into that game. I right, later, Tracy. Thank you for watching. Been a couple runs since we've gone here, so let's see what we got at this spot. Yeah, we're going to be starting it up in about 50 minutes, Liam. About 50 minutes from now, we should be starting our Marauders stream up. Yeah, Ty, they just did a wipe on Marauders with a new update, so... We're going to be hopping into it and seeing how things are going.
Yeah, Cold, I've played with him a few times. Thank you, NA Hunting. I'm glad you enjoy it. Oh, hey. Is that... Yeah, that's the same one. That is the same one, so we don't need him. Thank you, Odell. What's Marauders? It's a survival game similar to Escape from Tarkov. It's in the more like hardcore style of survival shooters. I could be decent, uh, Maddox. It could be de decent. Rev on two is not bad for Moose. Why would you ask that, uh, Z Flame? Well, what would give you that idea? Yeah, I'm on Medved. A Z Flame, just because a couple people don't do content together or don't mention each other doesn't mean they hate each other. In a lot of cases, it's just that. Two people's content may not fit well together, so they don't uh, do stuff together or don't recommend each other. Doesn't mean that they're not like... Doesn't mean that they hate each other. Another! Oh my gosh, another 300 rack moose. That is the third one today. That is crazy. We're finally getting the big diamonds to spawn instead of all the trolls. Wow. The beasts are showing up. The monstrous moose are finally showing up. Uh, that's the 22 LR uh, made by INT. That's the 22 handgun. You can also use the Virant 22. Uh, the 22 AR doesn't work though for some reason. Yeah, I, the only reason I don't really mention her is just because our content's quite different, Z Flame. That's the only reason that we don't really like talk about each other or do uh, collabs or anything. It's just. Not everybody's content fits with each other, right? Look at that beast. Will this be another 300 plus? No, 298.89. Close. Probably not going to tax this one because we've already taxed a uh, two 300 plus this stream and. If we continue this moose grind on as much as I want to, we're going to have a ton of diamonds. That was diamond number 19, though. Not quite a 300, though. So, so close, but not quite there. Regardless, that's a monster. That is an absolute beast. Let's go to this lake. It's been a while since I've gone here. Maybe we'll have something there. Do I hunt IRL? 
I used to uh, pranks to the max, but I haven't been able to recently. Uh, no, Reese. Why would I save it if I'm not going to tax it? With herd management, we're going to be getting a lot of diamonds, so... I'm not going to tax ones that aren't either super big or unique looking. What's my biggest moose? Um, 307, but they don't reach that score anymore, unfortunately. It was from over a year and a half ago. Actually, probably like two years ago. And unfortunately, they don't get that big anymore. On this grind, my biggest is like 300.47, I believe. We got it earlier in the stream, actually. Well, a lot of it's just herd management, uh, uh, rest me, man. A lot of it's just herd management. If you do herd management, it increases the chances of getting diamonds. And so naturally, naturally we find more, which is why I don't tax all of them. Um, if you have a herd of just does, Avery, I would just ignore that herd and hunt other ones. Because that just means that you don't have to check that spot anymore if it's just does. Unless it's the moose grind, then you'll still have to check it every once in a while, but... I wouldn't worry about hunting it if it's just, uh... Did I reset the time? I don't... Th did I? Yeah, I did. I did. I think so. Yeah, I definitely did. They're here now. Hey, there we go. Big old four. These moose, man, they hide. They hide from you everywhere. Um, what platform do you play on, Damien? What platform are you playing on? Uh, because, Owen, that's where the heart is. The heart is right on the shoulder. See? That's where the heart is located, so that's why we shoot there. That way we have a higher chance of getting, uh, one-shot kills where they drop instantly. Since moose tend to run a good bit before they die, if you shoot them in the lung, we go for hard shots. Nice, Drift. That's awesome, dude. Congrats on your first diamond. That is super cool. Well, we get a great one today, guys. It's hard to say. But these moose are so delayed. When did the moose grind start? Uh, December 6th is when we started grinding for them. You're right, Caitlin. You're 100% right. The entire chat is just full of great ones. Uh, Justin, thank you so much for the super chat again, dude. Shot a white tail with the crossbow earlier. Nothing but heart. Nice. That's always satisfying. That's always super satisfying. Thank you so much for the super chat again, man. Oh, ah, yes, it's, oh my god. 
Yeah, you are. Collect everybody that's in the chat is a great one. Eighty-four. Oh, let's just go straight down here. Nice info. What's the sub count? Let's check. Let us see. Eighty-four thousand five hundred and seventy-eight. Nothing that time, from what I can tell. Oh, that's not good, Carly. Sorry to hear that. Where's the shootable? Where is he? Uh, none right now, Henry. We're past that stage. We already uh, got done with the stacking portion of the grind. And this is, uh, this is wild. Glad you like it, Bart. Glad you like it. again though oh my gosh let's go guys great one number three it's a common fur it's a common fur but I still don't care it's still another great one. Oh my gosh let's go oh my gosh Whew. oh my gosh there he is Let's go, guys. We got another. Great one, Moose number three. I got to tell everybody in the Discord. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I can't even type. I'm so shaky. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. He's here. Oh, my gosh. Literally... Five minutes before I was going to end the stream. Five minutes before. And he's here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I, I notified the Discord. Oh my gosh. Wait, is it a special fur type? I can't tell. I can't tell if that's a special fur type or not. Maybe it's the Ashen. Is that the Ashen? No, that looks common. That's got to be common. That looks like a common to me. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's definitely a common. I think it's a common. I didn't get lucky enough to get a special fur type, but... There we go. Another one. Yeah, it definitely looks common to me too, Caitlin. I think it is. I don't care though. I don't care that it's common. We got number three. Woo! Oh my gosh. 
Wow. Okay. So what do we what do we do, guys? I said that I'd stack the next one. Do we stack it? I think we're gonna stack it. We're gonna stack this one. I told everybody that I would stack the third one that we got if it was the same rack. I said that if it was a duplicate rack, we would stack it, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stack this guy, but we're gonna get close to him and take some pics first. We're gonna call him in and try to get some beautiful pictures of this beast of a moose. My gosh, that guy looks awesome. Like, the thing about the Great One Moose, right, is I like all the racks, but this is my least favorite rack. But that's not saying that it doesn't look good. I think it still looks good. It's just not my number one, two, or three favorite. Still so cool, though. Look at that beast. Ebron, thank you for the four months, dude. Really appreciate it. Congrats, Crow. Thank you, dude. Thank you so much. How many kills did it take? Let's see. Um, this has been a five-hour stream, right? We kill about... Normally, we kill 40 per hour. But this has been a slow day, so I'm going to say 30 an hour. So... 100 and... What would that be? 150? About 150? So, yeah. Uh, let's add that on top. 500 kills. It took 500 kills for this one. 500 kills to get this guy right here. Oh my gosh. Organ Life, thank you for the super chat, dude. Oh, yes, oh my God. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Let's go love the content. I'm glad you like it, dude. Glad you like the content. Let's see if we can get it in here. Mm, he don't care about the call right now. Let's move a little bit closer. No, it's not a Mela. It doesn't have a special fur either. It's just a common. But I don't care. It's another great one. He does not care about that call. Yeah, it's definitely a common. Definitely is. That's still cool, though. Still cool. She notices the call, but not him. Oh, here he comes. Look at that beast. That uh, we're lagging. I I I press screenshot and now we're lagging. Th there we go. We're good. Why does my game lag when I try to take a picture or a screenshot? It does it almost every time if it's the first screenshot of the day or the first uh, picture of the day. Aggressive, please. I'd love to get him to go aggressive. Jeez. Oh! Oh! Oh no! This is not what I wanted! Why are you attacking the dog? Uh, uh, Ma'am? Excuse me, that's my dog? Maybe if I have my dog laid down, she'll keep attacking it and leave me alone. Hunter, I said lay down, buddy. Lay down! Oh, he refuses to lay down because of the moose. Oh, no. Come on. I, I just want to get pictures of this moose. Come on, man. Please don't do this. <laughs> he won't when you're in danger? What a silly dog. I said lay down. Gosh. Just because I'm in danger or something. Jeez. What is she doing? Does she think he's still there? Oh my gosh. Oh 
Justin, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Kill the moose, no harm to the dog. Uh, she won't get the dog. We're good. They can't hurt the pupper. Oh yeah, she finally ran. What a beauty. Jeez, that's so sick. <sighs> what a beast. Yeah, it's definitely common. The more, the more that we get close to it, it's a hundred percent a common. Got a few good pictures. The bow hunter in you is screaming right now? I bet. Yeah, Blitz, we just got it. We just got it to spawn. This has been a really weird day as well. We found like eight shootable moose at two of the hidden lakes and then since then our respawns have just been all over the place i'm just happy that one of the few spawns that showed up at one of our normal spots was the great one unfortunately it's just a common fur but still really cool I still don't have the rack that I want, though. Still no big typical rack. Yeah, we're stacking this one, guys. We're going to stack this one. We're going to see. Because I've got a theory that the fur types might be kind of messed up right now. And so I don't want to shoot it until I get confirmation whether or not they are. Because a lot of people have been putting their special fur type great ones in the lodge and then they turn to a common. So it makes me wonder, are the fur types actually commons and the commons actually fur types? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Aggressive great one moose. He's gone though. Wow. He did not stay aggressive for too long That was a very quick little burst of aggressiveness and then he just left Wow Didn't expect that <laughs> Did not expect him to dart off so quickly That was cool though. That was so cool 605 to 700 that's such a beautiful track to see so cool Definitely will. Gonna be using those pictures for thumbnails for sure. I mean, let's check the rest of the map. Maybe we've got another. Could you imagine if we've got a second great one? <laughs> Basically, Blitz. He's like, nah, man, I'm good. We're gonna check the rest of the lakes, and then we gotta hop off because I've got a stream planned at 7 p.m. with Kill Clinton. So, otherwise, I'd keep going, but I already uh, planned a stream with KC. We're going to stack it, Ben. I, I'm a little bit worried to shoot any great ones right now because the hotfix that they pushed through. There's been some issues where people are seeing rare fur type great ones in game. And then when they put them in the lodge, they turn to a common. And so if this is showing up as a common in game, which I really haven't seen anybody get since the update, then is it possible that mine is actually a rare fur type? And so I just want to be safe. I want to make sure that they confirm whether or not things were kind of bugged. So I'm going to wait until they push out a fix, probably. To the uh, fur types turning common in the lodge. Just in case, like, maybe it's reversed. Maybe this one right here is actually a special fur type. 
Yeah, Kathy, that's the thing, right? Like, only a few have got the common since the update. And the rest have been special fur types. And so it makes me wonder if they accidentally have them reversed. Kind of like what happened with, like, uh, the Trophy Lodge animals on Rancho. If you guys remember that. That's the thing, though, Blitz. It's hard to say because they said that they increased the chance of special furs on great ones, right? Not that they made them just as common as a common. So that's where I'm kind of, like, curious and I, I want to know more before I do anything. So we're probably going to hold off on shooting this one just in case. Just to be safe because I'm, uh... The last thing I would want is to shoot this, put it in my lodge, and then it shows up as, like, a special fur type. Because I, I'm very big on... I don't like having something in my lodge that wasn't the fur type that I shot it in, right? And so if there is a bug with the fur types... Then I want it to look exactly the same as when I shot it. I don't want it to change with an update, so... I think for now we're gonna leave it. And we'll decide uh, later. We'll decide at a later date based on what EW says. Based on, like, uh, what happens in the next update or two. If they push out another hotfix or not, like, we'll figure it out as time goes. About, like, 60 to 70 percent, uh, Johnny. That's typically where you want to get with herd management. It's like 60 to 70% of them as uh, low levels. That's usually what I shoot for at least. Uh, we're going to stack it, Crispiest. We're going to stack it. It's one of the racks that we already have. And uh, since a lot of people are getting the special fur types recently and they put them in the lodge and they turn to a common, I'm going to hold off on shooting mine until we get word on whether or not that bug's going to be fixed anytime soon. Because mine showed up as a common, so it makes me wonder, is it actually a special fur type that's just not showing up as one? If special fur types are going into the lodges and then turning into commons, it just makes me wonder, like, what if this one's really a special fur type? And it's just showing up as a common. Alright, I think we're gonna jump off, guys. I got a stream in... 21 minutes with Kill Clinton, so yeah, I need to jump off, give my voice like a 20 minute break, and uh, we will, we will get back to it tomorrow for the, um, we'll get back to the grind tomorrow, and uh, later tonight we're going to have a, um, what's it called, Marauder stream, so stay tuned for all of that guys, hope you all enjoyed this stream, I can't believe we got number three to spawn already, that's three in... Like what, 1,450 kills? Not bad. Not bad at all. But I will see you guys in about 20 minutes. Until then, uh, peace!